Um, is this thing on? It is on. Okay, test, 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 test. All right, let's peek in. That's peeking a little hot. Let me see. Let me turn that down a little bit. Test, 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 test. There we go. <laughs> Hi, mullet, just J, Jetwing. How we doing? How we doing this fine morning? <clears throat> Double check something here. Martina, welcome. How we doing today? <clears throat> early morning with taco. It's not really that early, I guess. I mean, is it? 8.30? <laughs> to me, that's not early. To me, that's not early at all. I, uh, you know me, I get up at freaking 12 in the, you know, 12, 15 in the morning. So that every day. So <laughs> it's not, this has been, this is late for me. Even though I didn't get up that early this morning. It's Saturday. So, or yeah, is it Saturday? It is Saturday. So yeah, I didn't, uh, I didn't get up that early this morning, but I will, I, you know, I do get up still early, usually around five, five thirty. Even though I went to bed. I went to bed at like 11 last night. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Er, uh let's see. Arlandria. God, I can't get words already. Arlandria. Michelle, how are we doing today, Lizard? <clears throat> Brother Wolf. Hope all is well. Kirsty. Ben. Um, What was I going to say? I was going to say. Oh, mullet. So those of you who don't know, a freaking earthquake hit. What was it? What was it? A 4.0, roughly? think in the New York area the mullet mullet message uh well in the in the discord commented that uh, I'm a, officially an earthquake earthquake survivor it's gotta be scary the big I didn't realize it'd be that big of one because the fault line throughout that area and through the fault line that runs near us is isn't very active like I think last earthquake we had was I don't know maybe six years ago five or six years ago and it all is it feels like um i don't know if you've been in like a, a stick frame house um but uh you know if something if the the floors bounce a little bit like like our house is old even though we have two by ten floor joists if uh bruce the dog runs through the living room the right pace it you can you can feel it kind of bounce a little bit it feels like that you know it's just such a minor earthquake when we do have earthquakes and uh and it doesn't really do any damage um yeah that had been scary though four uh i think you said a four two yesterday the second one was not as strong as the first yeah there's usually more than one right it usually kind of dwindles down usually sometimes they pick up too but uh normally i think they dwindle down usually it's the big one and then it kind of you have a couple aftershocks and not that i would know it's not like this is a more of a proto question or answer, I think. I think he would hate him. He has more experience. He's closer to a, like a major fault line. I don't even know if uh, really he gets hit where he's at in SoCal. I don't think SoCal gets hit as bad as like uh, San Francisco area. I think the big the fault line over there is a lot, you know, or it's more active up in that area. night for me either but i think most people uh find it early uh my husband's still asleep uh you know it's funny when you said we had an earthquake mullet I, I all i pictured was your husband in the middle of a tattoo and uh and then all of a sudden you know it's this like beautiful looking tattoo this face you know or whatever and uh all of a sudden it just trails off <laughs> it literally a line just trails trails off how funny would that be it's just like this zigzag line and I, you know, and I wouldn't be upset if I was getting a tattoo like that. I wouldn't be upset. I'd be like, this is when the tattoo, I'd have them date it. I'd be like, in, in the time. I'd be like, this is when the tattoo hit. <laughs> I've been up since five, but not by choice. Why not by choice? Are you feeling all right, Kirsty? Hope all, hope all is well. Um, yeah, we got another one too. Yeah, like I said, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, I think they usually, usually they come in two to three like at the aftershock stuff uh eq here in sweden was never 2.7 uh happens almost never oh as far as you have earthquakes okay eq i'm like what's eq mean we're just literally talking about earthquakes listen <laughs> noodles how are we doing today <clears throat> first one really shook the house that'd be yeah it's we i i felt the one six years ago because we were in the new lab the original lab that we had set up for the the company was in a basement so we had one then too 
and but we were in the basement so we didn't feel any shaking at all um because we were underground <laughs> so you know we didn't even know it happened we didn't even realize it happened okay how we doing today welcome in crazy living on this rock it shakes and does wild stuff it yeah it, yeah it's if you think about it you could really freak yourself out you know if you think about just all it takes is one you know we, we don't we do have like protection that that's the protection but people that patrol the skies but it's a damn big sky if you think about it and all it takes is that one big ass meteor to come out of nowhere and come crashing into the earth and just put us into a you know <laughs> out of whack and you know it, it, it's scary stuff <clears throat> this week has been insane uh when it comes to weather negative two whatever c stands for and 30 whatever cm stands for snow tomorrow i'll have 15 whatever c stands for in clear blue sky <laughs> That's, that sounds like spring here in michigan brother wolf that sounds like spring here in the michigan i uh i remember when i was working at um the asbestos abatement company um i had a job down in detroit and it was 80. what well, yeah it was 80 and uh, then i had to cross the state and go over to holland to one of the pfizer facilities um pfizer um, pharmaceuticals and uh do a job over there and the next morning i got there and it was snow on the ground i mean it was across state that had nothing really to do with it it was it was like that in detroit too though it was you know all of a sudden this freaking cold front came through it was nuts <clears throat> i remember driving I, I was driving to work one day to muskegon um and so i it, it was foggy it was really foggy and we're just hitting that freezing point but the fog was still on ground level and the ice was so bad. I was driving pretty slow, but the ice would build up from the fog um, and it would cling to my antenna on my Jeep. And my antenna would slowly start swaying back and forth, swaying back and forth. And the heavier it got from all that ice build up would start swaying more and more and more. And then finally it just, uh, it, it just snapped. All the ice would break off and then it would start over again. It was crazy. I've never seen anything like that. Driving through fog at freezing, right at the freezing point. Now, it was really cool, but really dangerous. Extremely dangerous. <clears throat> you couldn't see shit anyways. It was, I could barely see, you know, you know, maybe a car length in front of me as well. <clears throat> uh, uh, da, 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 da. Hustler, how are we doing today? Oh, well, just insomnia. Ah, oh, that sucks. That sucks. Is it a common thing, insomnia, for you, Kirsty, Or is it uh, just just happened to be a random thing? I, usually, I can pinpoint afterwards what, what the problem was. And a lot of times, it'll be like I ate too much meat. All like the meat sweats or something, you know, along those lines. I don't know. <clears throat> Eagle! Oh, my God. Look at who it is. Eagle, how are we doing today? Uh, above 2.7 uh, is just uh, me doing bowel movements. <laughs> eagle. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Eagle there is uh, a Fisk's cousin. <laughs> C equals Celsius. No, it doesn't. C equals crazy talk. It's not a thing. Celsius isn't a thing. We're not going this. We're not going down this road. Freedom Eagle, you should know this. You're my, you're my, you're my, you're my transportation. You're my Freedom Eagle. Megan, how are we doing today? Look in. Thanks for the pep talk, taco. What did I talk about? How did I pep talk you? I would never pep talk to you, or you, Megan. I talk you down. <laughs> Get back in your corner. <laughs> I'm so, I pick on Megan so much, and I have no idea why. She's like one of the nicest people, but I think that's why. I think it's you know I think when you come in here and you're you're you're, you're super sweet. I don't know if it doesn't irritate me. It just catches me off guard because most of the chat is a bunch of douchebags. So when you get somebody nice in here and I just got to bring them down to everybody else's level. <laughs> right Slim? <laughs> how, how are you doing today Slim? I looked out the window today right before I got started stream and I saw a, a herd of deer 
Uh, and they had a fawn already. There was already spot, a fawn, which is a little bit early. It's like, I think they're about a month early with that one. Uh, you know, about, about, about a month now, I'd say. And uh, then we'll start seeing them. Uh, so we'll see how well this one survives. We still have a little bit of cold coming through. Uh, is everyone ready for the eclipse on Monday? I'm, I'm not even going to pay any attention to this this time. Last time we went through, the kids and I sat out in the yard. I grabbed the welding helmets and we sat out there in the, or the, yeah, the welding masks. And uh, we sat out there in the in the yard. Now it's where the west pasture is. I, I added a pasture on a couple years ago. and uh, But we sat there in the middle of the yard and watched it. Uh, they were younger though. Um, this year, I don't know. Like, I, it, it, even my my um, uh, cellular provider, they're offering up, you know, uh, Eclipse glasses. <laughs> I, had to go, I had to go to their store. I didn't think I was with my free glasses. No, I didn't even do that, though. 4.5, 5.0 earthquakes here in Cali. Rock me to sleep. It's the best. Oh, my God. Listen to him. Listen to him. Listen to him. It's the best. Leo, I'm keeping an eye on you. We were talking about you, Leo, last last night. We were talking about you. How does that make you feel? Were we saying anything good about you or bad things about you? I hope you I hope you realize it was the latter. We were talking so much shit about you, Leo. <laughs> All the shit. <laughs> Doing fine, dude. Cooking some food and drinking vodka. Wait, what time? Oh, I guess it is what going on three o'clock there. So what? what? It's like vodka. Wait, do you drink vodka casually, Eagle? Are you like Russian? <laughs> do you drink vodka like as a casual thing, like like we would drink whiskey? You just sit there in in, in your chair and put on the tubes, and whatever you whatever you watch. I can picture you watching like uh, Faces of Death, you know, the old '80s movies, and just in giggling. <laughs> And drinking your vodka. <laughs> Fahrenheit equals the best temperature. You're right. I agree. <laughs> Ego, you're my second favorite person from Sweden. Who's your first, Leo? Who's your first? And think, you better think, very, you know, because if Olaf or Fisk sees this, one of them is going to be really upset. <laughs> <laughs> the last earthquake we felt was 4.5. Stuff got broken from it. Ah, that sucked. That's, yeah, earthquakes scare me. Christina, how are we doing today? Welcome in. Uh, I'm really not nice. I'm only nice because you pick on me. So then I have to be nice to, to you so you feel bad about it. Oh, I don't feel bad about it. <laughs> I just pretend to feel bad about it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I feel bad about it. <laughs> I'm ready for my son. Otherwise, I wouldn't give a damn about... Uh, or, or, oh, I'm ready for my son. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't give a damn about no money, son. Oh, you're talking about the... The... the, uh, the um, uh, eclipse. It is cool. It's a cool thing that happens, you know, once in a great while. But I think here in Michigan, anyways, it's it's not a full like it, the the full eclipse happens a little farther south. I think it's, I think it's crossing over you, mullet. Like you'll actually get the full effect of it. Us here, I think it's you know too far south. The last time it went through, it was more directly over us, and I think it's you it rotated a little bit farther south this time. Having kiddos make uh, those eclipse boxes with a pinhole viewer that's fun i mean like i said it's great for the kids it's a great learning experience it, it, it's a cool concept but i you know to me i'm just like eh, it's just another one i've been through enough of these now i'm old <laughs> iowa caitlin uh, to caitlin curry <laughs> to the finals by the way pog you're, you're obsessed with this Caitlyn chick, aren't you? Along with the rest of the United States. I just see, all I see is her being a big ass baby. Like I said, she's a flopper. She might as well play soccer. She might, may as well be out there playing soccer and just flopping and moans. I think, what was it? One of the games her dad yelled at her, said, just play the game. <laughs> and they caught that. The cameras happened to catch that. It was the greatest. They, somebody had, one of the cameras had, was on her dad. 
as she freaking was bitching and moaning to the refs. And her dad's just like, just play the game, yelling at her. Oh, it was so good. That became a meme. It was great because she needs to. I mean, she's like one of, she, I mean, one of, she is the greatest basketball player, female basketball player and basketball player. Well, one of the greatest basketball players right now in, you know, that will be going into professional sports. And uh, yeah, all she does is bitch and moan. Uh, my favorite person is the Olaf. Listen, listen, you can't combine them. You can't combine them like that, Leo. You need to make a decision. And I demand this decision now. Who's your number one favorite? Olaf or Fisk? And then we know the other one's not going to be in second place because you already told Eagle that um, he's his your number two. So answer the question and no fear i won't screenshot that and share it with them in our in our little mod chat thing that we have going our little our our, our, our discord mod thingy you know i'm not going to share that and show them that uh, you hate them <laughs> promise vodka wait hold on vodka is like <laughs> it's like milk from sweet for sweets wait i don't ever hear olaf or fisk talk about vodka I and mean, i don't think i've ever heard olaf bring up vodka i don't think he ever dr he drinks whiskey i don't believe you eagle <laughs> yeah we got the full uh we get the full they say uh, yeah you okay yeah that's what i thought you guys get the full 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 effect which is more entertaining to me it's all or nothing for me. All right, got to go to work, uh, but have a great day. Even you, Taco. Have a safe day. Have a good one, Megan. Thank you for stopping and saying hi. Don't burn yourself. Because <laughs> I know Megan's a, uh, uh, an ex not a chef, an executive chef. She's like, <clears throat> I'm an executive chef. Thank you very much. <laughs> she's deaf a baby, but she's cool. Why is she cool? Babies aren't cool. Babies, only time babies are cool is when you hand them back to their parents. Fisk, Eagle, then Olaf. There it is. There it is. Control Windows key. Control Windows key S. I'm going to throw that into the mod chat. Control B. Ranked. Ranked by Leo. I mean, what? Change subject. <laughs> Amanda, how are we doing today? Oh, hi, Takataputa Tito. It's, I, you never know what she's going to call me. I got to try to sound it out. Gorgeous mods and adorable chat. Ho hope all is well. Hope Toby's good. Hope Taco Cat is fantastic. Fisk and Olaf ain't Swedes. They, they're cavemen. What? Why are they cave? I, like Fisk is farther south, right? I can see Olaf being a caveman. Olaf is a northern Swede, which you know anybody northern is caveman-esque. Miriam, how are we doing today? Welcome in. But to be honest, I already know Fisk is a, and Leo is Leo's favorite. I, I've been I've been trying to drive a wedge between that that uh, that father son relationship. Um. And, uh, yeah, I've been doing my best by telling Fisk, like, uh, oh, Leo said this about you. And then, and, uh, I'm the backyard, so probably my, uh, connection. Yeah, is, uh, hopefully not. Is audio breaking up for anybody? <clears throat> hopefully it's just a connection thing. Mullet's out doing her gardening. She does it in the morning. Uh, for you too, Leo? Shit. Shit. What's going on? Is even the music audio breaking up? I wonder why that would be. Huh. I don't see anything like uh, unusual happening. <laughs> uh, when you hit shots from the tailgate party and, and the uh, par parting lots, <laughs> fade away, you're cool as fuck. Oh, God, listen to you. Um, 
randomly breaking up. Wonder what the hell's going on. Uh, let me see. That's, it might be. Maybe. Let me make sure my cable's plugged in. Is it just my? Is it? Is it just my mic audio? Because that could be a, a cable connection. <laughs> let me make sure everything's plugged in all the way. It appears so. But uh, my uh, XLR mic. I moved it around a little bit, so that might, that could be it. But then it snap, it didn't like snap in. Might have been a glitch in the matrix, hopefully it is. Hopefully it was just a, the, you know, just a random thing. Let me post a picture of Taco actually. Yes, do it in the, in the pets or the message, message me. And if you're wondering what I'm talking about, uh, Discord, in our Discord, in our community Discord, make sure you're part of it, exclamation mark Discord in chat. And, uh, yeah, and it's a uh, good guys discord. It's myself, Biscuit Fooster. We have a community in there. And uh, if you want to suggest any games or, or say anything to us, you know, that uh, you want us to read, you know, make sure you go to the message Fisk or message Fooster or message Taco channel and, uh, you know, post it in there and we'll reply when, when we're when next available. <laughs> I have the usual buffering with weird uh, sound cutting out. Oh, God, that's irritating. That's irritating. Now, now, now I'm going to be like, paranoid about it now i'm gonna be paranoid jetwing uh sounds uh sound is fine for me thank you now i feel better jetwing i trust jetwing more than anyone sorry Mal, i'm joking <laughs> I'm, my, my, nightbot. I'm really kidding nightbot <laughs> taco, taco, taco. Um, puka how we doing today Hope all is well. Holy shit, we're already almost a half hour into the stream. It's amazing how time flies. When I start, like, just jabbering on about bullshit. Uh, today we're going to be jumping back into uh, the Thaumaturge to play. Uh, I, I w wanted to wait until my, my GPU got back in, which is definitely Monday. My GPU is definitely in on Monday. It was supposed to be here yesterday, but yeah, it's definitely, uh, definitely on Monday. Um, it's in, it's, it, it's at the UPS facility transfer station. That's closest to me right now, but they're not open on Saturdays. I was upset. I checked out seeing if they're going to be open so I could run there and just pick it up, change, change the pickup address. And instead of having to deliver directly here and I was going to run and grab it, but nope. I don't know why they're not open on um, Saturdays. So that sucks for me, but uh, it is what it is. It will be here on Monday. So uh, I, so I was gonna wait, but you know what? I, I realized I'm already forgetting. Yeah, I already, already forgot how to play the game, like the commands for it. At least it's turn-based, uh, but uh, I don't, you know, it's not a complicated game to play, but uh, I don't wanna, I, I'm already forgetting, you know, my, my brain, feeble brain syndrome. I forget about uh, what's up, uh, you know, the, the what's going on in the story and all that stuff. So we're just going to pick up where we left off. But yeah. So anyway, we're going to jump into that. Let's jump. Let's get going in that. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me pull, actually pull the game up before I hit game capture. Nice thing is the music is their own as well. So we can play the music. Steam. Boom. Game. There you are. Those bastards. Yeah, oh god, this has been this has been a roller coaster ride with this GPU. <clears throat> but I'm getting a brand new one. <laughs> Not a freaking refurbished one that they tried to send me. I was so pissed when I got that refurbished one. Good morning, Taco Chat. Hope you're having a great day. Janet, hope hope you're doing well too. Happy Saturday to you. Uh, let me do a thing here to cab out real quick. And pause that so that doesn't... That might be causing some problems too. I forgot I had that playing. Alright. We are a victor. Um, we... What did... What happened? What, what, let's do a little recap here. Uh, we were feel, we were ill, right? We were we lost touch. We're a thaumaturge, which a thaumaturge is a person that has uh, communication with like these evil spirits, uh, and um, for whatever reason, we lost like contact with ours, which is not this dude, but it's a different one. And um, 
Oh, so we went looking for a cure, and we found out that this medicine man at you know, this town far away had, may have had a, it may be able to help us, and that ended up being Rasputin. So we made friends with Rasputin, and uh, he helped us like regain our connection with our. I can't remember what the hell are they called. Or these monsters, I can't remember. They're not demons. I can't remember what the hell they're called. But uh, uh, regain our connection with ours, and then we end up battling another one and taking control of that one too. Or I say taking control, but then they start helping you. So you can kind of like tame them. You capture them like Pokemon, and uh, so now you can. We have two to battle with when we get in, in fights. So, and then after that, we got word that our our father had passed. And uh, so we went back home uh, to Warsaw, and and then uh, we went into, and said our goodbyes. And then after that, we ran into some friends, and now I don't know where we're off to. <laughs> we ended it there. <laughs> so there's our recap. <clears throat> it's a beautiful game, though. It's a gorgeous game. It's top-down, turn-based battles. All right, I don't even know where we're at. Uh, go to the family home in Northern Swodmirski. Did I say that correct? Which is here. All right, how do we enter? Young Mr. Shulski, after all these years, all these years, goodness gracious, you're drenched. Good evening, Grazinka. Evening, evening. My, you're soaked. Come to the kitchen now. You can warm up by the stove. And that drunken judge, maybe you can drag him out too. Where's my sister? In the study, already waiting with the lawyer. She said you were running late. Should I make you some cocoa, master? It would warm you up a little. We get to decide whether or not we want Coco. I don't know. She seems very sus. Is she gonna poison us? Why is this the decision? Why are we jumping in and this is a decision right away? <laughs> tell her not to trouble herself. Uh, tell her to make Coco for uh, Ligia. Ligia is our sister. Or Ligia. Ligia. Make an extra creamy one for Ligia. Oh, I won't skimp on her. Now, your sister's putting a brave face on all this, but she's really having a hard time. It's lovely to see you again. But that's enough jabber for now. I've got the guests and the cocoa, and I've got to whip up some food for you all later. Like we'll talk soon. <laughs> Alright, let's go to Damn, what a freaking nice ass house. I mean, we're, this, is, this is taking place, I think, in the 20s. So, oh God. Look at the woodwork. <laughs> I'm going to start creaming over the woodwork. I'm going to turn into Fisk when it comes to cabins along in the woods along the creek side. <laughs> Olaf, you sexy son gun. <laughs> How are we doing today? Oh, look at Olaf's coming in flipping bins. You know why? He, he heard he heard a rumor about Leo and his rankings. <laughs> heard something. I uh, said something to stream. I uh, totally unaware of Pokemon, but Sea Taco said it. I'm to you're totally on. I, you know, I, I'm, I, I know what Pokemon are. I've never played. I actually, I take that back. I did play one of the Pokemon games, but I never really got into it. Pokemon came like big after I was, I think, out of high school. I think, or when I was in high school, possibly. But all right. So who do we got to talk to? And there's people everywhere. Let me take a look at some of this stuff. Uh, father's portrait. The portrait is, depicts uh, father in his twilight years. A series of expressions uh, of his face, his proud posture. Yeah, his, his dad was a dick, right? He's not a big fan of his dad. We want to click. Oh, we got a point for that, too. We want to click on everything we can, um, whether we read them or not. Uh, you, you gain uh, XP for that, essentially. All right, paper. Uh, the Warsaw Courier uh, Evening Extra. Here's the latest news on riots that uh, dis disrupted His Majesty's Empire. Uh, so, this is earlier. This was in the last stream when we got into. They call it a riot, but uh, the, the 
the the cops the gumshoes are being a little a little dickheady right and uh and we, we we had a choice whether or not we wanted to fight them to defend uh the people that were protesting or or um we could have side, side the other way we ended up in jail um but yeah then we got out and came here we got out uh, i think because of our father and our father's name uh what happened to chat why did that disappear there we go it's back um busta marana uh the stern uh countenance of resembles that of a human who the fuck? all right who do we got to talk to go talk to this person over here I don't want to put my foot in my mouth again. I already failed to recognize someone once today, but you look familiar. Well, I should think so. I was the victim of one of your starling hunts. It's a deeper voice than Voronins I was expecting. must not be very memorable, cousin. Pietia, <laughs> forgive me, and for shooting you as well. Huh. What? How are you doing? Just some heart problems, not a subject for today. I'm sorry about Uncle Stanislav. Forgive me for not coming to the funeral. I can't bear cemeteries. I didn't even make the we funeral. We will have to meet up again. Goodbye. He was already buried, right? We didn't even make the funeral. <laughs> we were a little late. We were locked up in jail. Then we had to catch a ride back. So that was Petra. Uh, go to your father's study for the, uh, the reading of the will. Okay. Let's see what father gives us. This is his study here. That goes into the basement. In the kitchen. Uh, the liquor recipe. Pour a pot of ripe. Okay. Who's this? Oh, I'm oh it's glad the one dude here. we saw at the cemetery. I thought I'd have to drink alone. So many goodies laid out for the guests. Having trouble picking something for yourself, Judge? But this was Stasio's. It was special. Amber liqueur. Amber liqueur. I think you Maron. mean Queen's liqueur with amber, right? <laughs> Booster's if been it's loving not here, I'm that sure word lately. Basement. But I won't grope around down there in the dark now. I've got my hands full. Now, I don't want to trouble you either. Victor, could you track down a little bottle for your uncle? I suppose I'm obligated to accept this mission. <laughs> Do that. A nephew like you uh, is a treasure. What was that? Why did I get a ubu? I'm not seeing it. Oh, there it is. Why was that coming in so late? <clears throat> Crafty, thank you so much for the seven months. Uh, the like button looks lonely. <laughs> Give it a visit. <laughs> thank you, Crafty. Thank you for the seven months, by the way. That was weird. It didn't pop up on my screen that you, that I was like, I got the uh, sound alert. Normally, I get the visual alert before I get the sound alert. Yeah, I think YouTube is acting up a little weird right now. Or maybe it might be OBS. OBS has an update, has actually two updates that I, I, I passed. Uh, wait, can we talk to him again? How did it go? Mission accomplished? Oh, I didn't do it. I have to wait a moment yet, uncle. Oh, okay, so we got to go do the thing. We got to talk to him. Uh, 365 dinner recipes. Uh, okay. It's weird that we have access to this stuff. I, I think some of these things actually play into some of the story. Uh, let's go down to the basement too before we go in. before we go upstairs. I'm assuming his study's gonna be upstairs. I don't see why his hubba hubba. Hello, <laughs> she's showing shoulder. Very naughty, sassy. <laughs> Onan, how we doing? Uh, games, how we doing today? Good morning to you. Fair God, welcome in. Uh, let's see, mother. Oh, that's mother's portrait. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> Portrait of mother in her youth. She stands proud wearing her white dress and silk scarf thrown over her exposed shoulder. 
Mom! Stop it! God. Now we know what was up with Mom and why Dad fell in love with her. Filthy monster. Oh, yeah, we can do this, too. I forgot. Oh, shit. I forgot. We can... We have uh, our, like, thaumaturge sense that we can use. Uh, Pinwan Yor from Oregon. Bottle of wine from the United States. stays hard to get. Yeah, I forgot about that. Shit. Okay, so we're going to go back upstairs and do this thing, too. Uh, Sauvignon de Bordeaux. Did I nail that? I hope so. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Quincy liquor from with Amber. So this is the actual liquor. Okay. A small bottle of Quincy liquor with Amber, a beverage. Uh, so can we snag this? So yeah, we got to take this upstairs, I'm assuming, to the one dude. Every bottle found in... This, uh, Slasky's uh, cellar contains a credible beverage. Uncle Vernon, Vernon would uh, disagree any of them. Okay, let's head upstairs and take this to uh, Uncle Vern. Paco really just said you know, Noir. Uh, wait, what? Wait, where is he at? He's in the kitchen, isn't he? Say it like Bordeaux. What the hell do I know? How did it go? I speak English. Thank Mission you very much. Accomplished? It said like Pino. What'd I say? Peanut? Did I say Peanut? Uh, give him the bottle of liquor. Give him the bottle of red wine. I the... think this is the one Uncle wanted. Yes. This yes. is our little funeral bottle. We would meet in Stasha's study after every funeral we went to and raise a toast to the dead. And recently, we've been seeing one another more and more at such events. More and more. But this time, even he has left me. So? To an easy death, as Stasha and I used to say. <laughs> How did he die? Hasn't Ligia told you? I haven't even had the chance to ask. He didn't suffer, but such images in the memory are better saved for later. I'd prefer to remember him as he was alive. What then? Am I drinking alone? No. Uh, raise a toast in silence. Drink in, uh, to an easy death. Propose your own toast. A proud answer and not only draws from uh, the flaw of pride level, but will also feed it even more. I don't know if this is a good thing or not. We get this a lot. I don't know if we should do this. It's always, it seems to be there a lot. And it, it cause I don't know if it's a good thing. It says flaw of prides. We'll, we'll just we'll raise the toast. It's okay, Taco. Let, don't call me I suppose Bell. I'm there's no reason Bell. to bear grudges or be angry, is there? Taco equals wine connoisseur. Who drinks wine anyways? Gross. To an easy death. Familiar faces keep vanishing from my life. Stasio and my Helena before him. I miss my little darling. I miss them both. He reminds me of my uncle, like one of my uncles, IRL. Well, obligation fulfilled. You would look at him, you Probably wouldn't think he was very poetic. You listen to him, you wouldn't think he's very poetic with his words either. <laughs> but if you read between the lines, you'd be like, man, this guy's deep. Um, fulfilled, uh, shall we go a reading of the will? Join the reading of the will. Uh, say you need another moment. We're going to need another moment. We'll meet you him up there. You all have to wait for me a moment yet. All right. But hurry up. Calm down. We're going to we're gonna use our sense to see if there's anything we, we want to... We want to, uh, to touch. 
Which there might not be, because we went downstairs and that... Ooh, what's in here? Wait, we, we just came from there. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, what's in here? All right, there isn't anything else. All right, let's go up. Let's go up, do the will thing. I'm a sophisticated human being with wine. Okay, I lied. The wine part is true, though. You, you have wine right now? Olaf? Olaf, you drink wine? I just love the Taco Bell autocorrect. Is that what happened? It was a, was a, it was an autocorrect. My phone autocorrected to Taco Bell. How often do you type Taco Bell that your phone automatically... <laughs> and don't give me that. Don't give me that. <laughs> Taco equals Taco Bell. Taco Bell equals fast, cheap, and easy. Thumbs up my... <laughs> No, I'm not cheap and easy. I'm easy, but <laughs> what? Oh shit! Oh, I'm hitting the E. That's why I move my fingers. Uh, let's go in here. Get changed. Is this our room? Serious photo. Straight back. Stern uh, expression. Noses in the air, two boys that are uh, just trying to meet everyone's ex expectations. Something went wrong here. We do look pretty handsome. Is this us? I hope so. <laughs> um, that's how I, when I met um, Fisk and Olaf, that's how they were standing. That's how they were dressed when we first met. No lie. So we can, wait, so we can change. Wonder, what's this all about? Wardrobe. If you want to change your clothes, use the wardrobe. Uh, use the expand your tools the selection uh, by visiting the tailor. Why can we change? Why is that a thing? Right, we'll just like... Um... So is this what we're wearing right now? Yeah, I wonder why this is a thing in the game. I want, I want uh, the color of wine, uh, black parrot. Uh, I don't, see, I don't think that don't, I'm guessing this stuff doesn't give you buffs. Maybe you can get buffs from outfits. I don't know. We changed though. We changed and leave. Look, so now we're a little more casual. We're in our, we're in our own home or dad's home at least. Bust of Siren, uh, a sharp vein. I'm not reading all that. We went in there. Is that the study? No, that's the bathroom. Take a look in the bathroom real quick. Uh, pseudo nomonarchy, mon monarchia, dominium. <laughs> what? Oh, we got a thing. Oh shit, how do we level our, our, our character up too? Thaumaturge. So we have two Thaumaturge points in which we got all these unlocked. Can we go like double duty on these things or no? Doesn't look like it. Shit, how do I get there? Um, I, and this doesn't really matter right now, but yeah, the only thing we can unlock are these two items. Let's hold off on that. We're not in any battle right now, so let's hold off. Oh shit, there's even higher upstairs. Let's go talk. There's just this. I am ready, Mr. Shulski. I only need all of you to be present. Driving home while uh, can we start back treating in a bit. All right, your father as well? Uh, can we still start reading the father's will? I agree. Let him uh, write some more. Or let, let him write some more. Let's let our dead father write some more first. We need more shit of his. <laughs> yes, let his will be done. Begin. Let's begin if everyone is ready. Would you all please take a seat? 
Ladies and gentlemen, by the power of my office vested in me by the grace of His Imperial Majesty, the Emperor of All Russia, I hereby testify. Mr. Shulsky's last will and testament were prepared several years ago in the presence of Zaslav Fedorov, Esquire, that is, myself. My last will and testament recorded in the year of our Lord 1888. In the name of the Holy Trinity, Amen. What? <laughs> in the name of the Holy Trinity, I'm going to ask him uh, to get to the point. Uh, hear out the lawyer in silence. We've been choosing this a lot before. Let's just go. Therefore, my first irrevocable wish is to appoint as executrix of this will my daughter, Ligia Schulzka. Immediately after my death, an Ligia. inventory shall be conducted in full accordance with the law. After completing the inventory, all my personal movables will be sold at public auction. And let the funds raised thereby be donated on the anniversary of my death to the beggars near the cemetery. The administration of the remainder of my fortune I leave, without restriction, to the person of my daughter, Ligia. I'm not even getting a teaspoon. All movables and immovables relating to the family enterprise I entrust to the care and administration of my daughter. I do not prescribe a method of administering them. I merely offer her one piece of advice. I wish that the business should be conducted with modesty, prudence and honesty, as I have conducted it my whole life. A joker to the very end. <laughs> To my brother-in-law and oldest friend, Alexander Voronin, I wish to leave the following. My collection of muskets and two revolvers dating to the uprising in memory of our first meeting. Stasio, I will have plenty to do in my retirement. Enjoy your retirement. Uh, see, congratulations. So, our, our father hates us. That's why, we, I guess that explains why we were not in such a hurry to get back. And then when we, we had so many weird options of, uh, you know, saying our goodbyes. Where we could have went sincere or could have been, been more honest and just straight up a-hole about him. I think, you know, to be honest, I'm not going to miss you, essentially, is what it came down to. <laughs> congratulations to them both. Or congratulate them both and uh, say uh, you'll wait in the kitchen um that's a pride thing there as well wait for the end of the ceremony um ask if your mother is getting anything uh let's go ahead and uh, do wait until the end this is i wanted to hear this i out. would also like to come to the aid of my only son victor Shulsky, by entrusting him with the use of my personal black grimoire in the hope that he will be able to make good use of it this is my last will and testament. Carry it out solemnly. Carry it out though my you way, may have found son. it burdensome. <laughs> Start singing, However, singing Kansas. However, this last request <laughs> poses a certain problem. Yes, it certainly does. And what is that, may I ask? I am not in possession of this grimoire. The late Mr. Shulsky used it up until his death. Yet no one left it with me after his passing. Meaning it's disappeared? Oh, Jesus. That's a dark ass picture. Has grimoire on him at the time of his death? It was only because of the grimoire that we could identify him at all. Imagine what have a family photo happened? with that. How did he die? <laughs> a building collapsed on top of him. I don't know any other way of putting it. Uh, building collapse the top of him. I don't even put it. Uh, find out where this happened. Uh, ask about your father's death. Uh, ask about the missing grimoire. Let's ask about the father's death first. I think we can go back to these even when we ask these two. I think this carries on to the story, so we should be able to do this, and then um, we'll ask about this, and then we'll ask about this. A building. It collapsed on top of him. How? How did this happen? 
It was a day like any other. Papa had gone for his habitual walk. Every Tuesday and Thursday, he'd take a stroll to get some space, as he put it. When he didn't come back for a long time, I got the bad feeling something had happened. But then... Oh, that's usually gas. We rode there together. An entire wall of a tenement had collapsed. There were three victims, including Stasio, who had the bad luck totally to all simply right. be walking by. To see him there in that condition, it's beyond description. Uh, all right, let's ask about the grimoire. The grimoire. Could someone have taken it? Perhaps, in all that confusion. But why would anyone want Papa's grimoire? An ordinary person won't use it. Would the Tomator just happen to be passing by? She said Tomator. Father had all his I've been in a there, But I don't know. Have, if I, have I been be wrong? To someone other than I'm never him. wrong. I, I pronounced everything right. He left it to me. I'm sure Stasio had a reason. <laughs> all right, let's find out where this happened. So we're we're going to go and investigate. Where was this building? The southern part of Shudmieście, not far from the police Shemishia. station. Anyway, you can miss it. Southern part of Shudmieście. Of all the possibilities, this was the death That's how you pronounce that fate it. prepared for him. I mean, I knew that. Uh, of all the possibilities, this was the death that uh, fate prepared for him. Uh, say that uh, even he didn't deserve this. Uh, emphasize the karma comes back. Uh, do we want to go? I, I don't know. I mean, I feel, I think... Like, because this is a choice matters game, right? So I feel like the more you choose the pride thing, the more down that road and the more like a different ending you're going to get. Or like even mid range, mid, mid decisions and stuff. I don't know. I hate being an a-hole. I foresaw Sometimes it works, so. more pleasant end for him myself. I doubt see, even see he said, Lee, you remember this? horrible death. Those might be the kindest words you've ever said on the subject of a father. How typical of a sort of person to keep a portrait in a study of a family that was only a family on canvas. Not long after the painting was done, he got divorced, ruined in Egizus, and kicked out his son. But there the portrait hangs the the family meant anything the at all. or who's the Nizisus? i don't know what exactly happened with about it but i know that papa felt guilty you don't want to forgive him even now that he's gone the dead need no forgiving and as for forgetting i don't know how it's just a shame about the grimoire what do you intend to do uh, say a look far uh, through father's things. Admit the building is a good lead. Uh, ask about uh, Ivan uh, Knishkin. Uh, ask about uh, or so is this? Because there's another boy there, right? Is this even so? Maybe we you ruined our brother. Ask about Mordishish. <laughs> Did I nail that? Like I said, I never pronounce anything wrong. Leaky needs to chill out. What's wrong? Why? What's Leaky do? Leaky has been like the nicest person to us. We remember after 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 the cemetery, we walked out and we we're talking to, to Leaky and our uncle there, and uh, and then this one lady comes rolling up and saying, "At a funeral, and you're flirting, basically, you're flirting with people." How <laughs> the audacity! And it's like, I'm her brother, you bitch. <laughs> That was great. <laughs> uh, say so look through father's things. Let's go through father's stuff. I want to. I want to look through shit. And where are father's I'm things nosy. at the moment? You're standing at the very center of his kingdom. Not everything has been sorted through yet, but you go right ahead. And the store? I should check the too. I've started stock taking there to distract myself, and I don't want you to go in there before I've finished. As you wish. Ooh. Like, I, I've trusted her ever ever since she just said that. She, I, I trusted her up until now. She might be bad. Look at her eyes. They're black. Any woman with black eyes. <laughs> Wait. 
any woman with black mascara and shading around their eyes that's a better better well put <laughs> admit the building is good i'd lead uh ask uh let's ask about this person. father evidently knew a certain ivan Konechkin. okay so it's someone we don't know have you heard anything about him Konechkin? Konechkin. no doesn't ring a bell all sorts of people came to Papa's store. That doesn't mean every one of them might know something about the grimoire. That's true. You've got your work cut out for you. Jesus. If you think about it, so we came to the to our dad's last will and testament, right? He gives our sister, it gives the homeless around the cemetery like the value of everything, all the carryables, all of the disposable stuff. In the house which i'm sure is a fortune after sold at auction gives them that value gives our sister everything else and gives us a grimoire and we got not only does it give us this grimoire that we have to freaking find this thing we have to go on this witch hunt after this thing <laughs> it's ridiculous <laughs> admit the village is a good idea or good lead ask us ask about this one i nailed it i, I said it just so. like that he worked with father, but he left more than a year ago. I don't know why. He was an assistant at our, well, my store. My store. Do you know where I might find him? Sadly, no. Do you have any other ideas? Uh, admit the building. Uh, Tago, take that back. Take what back? What'd I say? <laughs> I did. I took the one thing back because I realized it came out way wrong. And I was going to continue on that sentence because I don't want to be taken up out of context, right? So I, anybody with black mascara, well, well I, I think isn't all black, most mascara black. I don't know. I don't, I don't do makeup. <laughs> Listen, she just has, she looks like she belongs in a Gothic movie, but I guess this is a Gothic game, right? It's very Gothic. And her I father did die. So she's dressed in black in the place we're at the way and all that stuff. With your sight, you can make out more in those ruins than I, or uncle, or detective could. This is a good lead, but is it the only one? Alright, say you already know everything. Wow, that just sounds pompous. I already know everything. Now at least I can see how little I know. Maybe these scraps of information... Or did it say hardly know anything? Well, <laughs> you know now that we know what's got words to be figured letters. out, forgive me, my darlings. I'm going to give my old bones a rest. He sounds drunk. I'll see you out. Sounds like me, though. Squatch, how we doing today? Goodbye, Welcome in. Uncle. Why coming in um, with a raccoon? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry it happened this way. That I wasn't close by. The most important thing is you're here now. Why was she? She's like hunched over. She's like, oh, well, most burning. you're here now. <laughs> At least she didn't say it like that, but she had that posture. Oh, okay. Oh, so there, this is our, um, the hell are they called again? Hold on. Uh, I don't remember what they're called. There's too many words. I'm not going to look it all up. But holy shit, we got a lot to look at here. Oh yeah, here's one of our demons. Let's examine this first. Uh, a letter. The human heart is worth more than all the riches in the world. SR. We're not going to talk to our demon thingy yet. Oh, we got another. Oh, here's the painting up here. Sotoski family uh, portrait. Our family pre uh, portrait, I can remember when it was taken. The year was 1884, and Ligia and I were nine. Oh, wait. We didn't have a brother. Wait, what was that picture of the two boys together then? Unless that one of those was Ligia, and she was dressed like a boy. <laughs> I don't know. Safe is open. Uh, suitcase, leather suitcase, bringing traces, uh, many travels, uh, gains the desert sand, uh, from father's trip, uh, Africa, uh, settled the suitcase he set aside. Another item here. A ritual mask. A wooden mask, uh, representing a solitaire. That's what they're called, solitaire. 
the sal uh, saluters or solitor i think they, they they pronounce it like solitor um known as shurail a demonic uh, uh countenance of a clothed in the hope of clung to its first okay well can we see it no we can't see the image of it another item here Books of ancient culture, books of hard leather binding with many bookmarks. We'll talk to our saluter soon. If there's anything up over here. Nada. I'm guessing we're gonna, when we go get the grimoire, we're probably, I'm guessing there's gonna be another saluteur in there or whatever, however they're pronounced. How Stuck do you to find our old stomping ground? Yes, I'm not too fond of this place either. This is where I had my last conversation with my father, just before I left. If you can call it a conversation. Can you see my dreams? Nightmares, actually. Ever since I decided to come back, I keep reliving the same memory. The Lone Shark Incident. I've been seeing his death more and more lately. I wonder if his shop is still there. Bone shark incident. Perhaps we should go there and check. <laughs> I feel like if anybody saw us talking, it, or, you know, they'd be like, what the hell is this guy doing? Take a look upstairs real quick before we dip out. We do have two items up here. Perfect. Uh, Stenslaw's uh, last will. So my little. So this is. Is this a copy of it? Because he just read the last will. Uh, this is the last will carry out. Say, say, uh, say, aid my son with Victor. Uh, Victor. Vic, Victor. <laughs> Victor. And and trust my. Yeah. Huh. Wonder why that's up here. <laughs> uh, collection of books on the occult. Uh, the titles include uh, Pseudomonarchia, pseudo, pseudo that was that one thing we found earlier, right? We found one of the books. Father's Search. Father's thought we were uh, recently occupied with a search of knowledge that uh, bordered the ob obsessive. Uh, hunting for Seletors, exploring the mysteries of everything related to thaumaturgy. Oh, and that's the other thing. To be a thaumaturge is a known thing around the world, but we're this you we're we're kind of looked down on by most of society. Most of society doesn't you know appreciate us. Uh, charred letter, my love for the burning. Uh, it keeps me uh, keeps me from eating. It keeps me from sleeping. It keeps me from living. Ligia, I am begging you to end my agony. Agree to my dot dot dot. What the hell? What is going on there? Taco, my uh, goats are uh, uh, flabbered. That uh, you didn't make any of your mama jokes about the portrait earlier. Wait, what are you talking about, Puka? <laughs> your mama jokes about the portrait. Oh, you're talking about the shoulder portrait? Your mama was a prostitute? Wait, what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Message from mother, dear child, stop it with the great sorrow that I have uh, received as news uh, Stanislav's whatever death stop. Unfortunately, I will not be able to attend the funeral ceremony. Stop my my duties from Paris keeps me from uh, traveling to Warsaw at this time. Stop. Uh, I'm going to both uh, mourning and sorrow. Stop. Why are they typing stop? Don't then that just when they say stop? Don't in that a period? Oh, hey, wait. Actually, that would make sense. You know why it says stop? I know the I know the reason behind this. When telegrams were first being used, you paid per letter. And it was like, you know, let's say like let's just say 1 cent per letter letter, but actual like um like periods, any type of uh, you know, um mark like that comma and stuff like that, it was like 20 cents for a period. Versus typing the word stop would have been four cents. So it was cheaper to actually type the word than it was to actually put 
in the actual, you know, <laughs> period. So that's why it actually does that. So they are, they're actually on par with that. It's kind of cool. <clears throat> when they did Morse code for the telegraphs, it was, yeah, it was basically, right? It was basically that. So it's cheaper to do. Because, yeah, the, the, the keys to actually type, to punch that in was, um, you know, it took more time and it was more expensive. My letter from Paris, November 19, 1896. Uh, I'm not going to read, like I said, I'm, you know me, I'm not going to read everything. I'm not going to read hardly anything, to be honest. Unless it's short, then I'll definitely read it. The Polish Gazette, uh, Evening Edition. Uh, blah, 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 retired. So they're covering retirement. My, uh, so, newspapers, even back at even, um, you know, like 30, 40, well, no, I'd say about 40, 50 years ago, were way different. The coverage by the press was so much different. My uncle uh, was in, uh, like, he was a, when he was a kid, he was in a fire. Um, him and his buddy were playing on the matches, and uh, a fire started, and his buddy passed away. And uh, in the news article, it actually states my, my uncle's name, who was a juvenile, right, who was young. He was, like, eight. Um, my, his parents' name, and where they lived and all that, you know, basically said this kid died, parents of this, or son of these, this so-and-so lived over on this street. And then my uncle's survivor, and then also explained what happened. I'm like, oh my God, the lawsuit that would happen in, in nowadays with that. It was, it was crazy how much information they had and how much the information they give, gave. All right, so this is our room. We went in here already. We changed. All right, so uh, find out more about our father's dying moments. Ask Ligia uh, about the mysterious SR. Yeah, because we don't know who the SR who signed. Ooh. Ringy dingy dingy. Hello? I talk here? Do you hear me now, Victor? I Victor, do. are you there? Grigori? Yes. Victor, uh, where are you? On the other end of the line, at home, where the telephone rang. <laughs> Incredible. Who are we talking to? Ask why he's calling. Find out uh, how he got... The number point out that uh well there is a number right you would have a freaking uh, an operator point out it's yes slate. it's a remarkable invention the hour is also a bit late how did you know i have a telephone at home uh, something's interrupting you victor i am telecommunicating with you to say i found the lodgings here in warsaw if you need me I'm by the cemetery. Uh, what number is it? Uh, yes, yes. 7 Povaskoska Street. Uh, number 7 by cemetery. Povaskoska. I'm glad. It's good to hear your voice. <laughs> it's good to hear you as well. Uh, goodbye. Pretty clear call. Uh, I want to end now. What do I... Uh, like this? Wonderful device. <laughs> so Remarkable. A Hello? brand new oh, device. And now? And now? <laughs> How do we close this out? Could you imagine using the telephone for the first time? Be like, all right, uh, how do we do this? How do we, you know, now it's just like, all right, bye. Or see ya. All right, have a good one. You know, it, it's, it, there's so many different ways to end, end a conversation. And it's just so casual. But then it's kind of, they, they, they look like spot on with some of the stuff in this game for sure for its age. Or for the, the day and age that it took place. Oh my God, that's horrible and sad. It is very sad. It was very... Oh, I mean, obviously, I wasn't alive then, but uh, actually, I had to been more than 50 years ago. But uh, um, yeah, it's it is sad. It, when I when I read, my aunt sent me actually a new news article that she she found of it, and uh, I'm like, and I read it. I'm like, holy shit, that's crazy! How much information they gave away. Uh, do you know the secret travel requires but one uh, sip of cocoa? All of a sudden, Ligia is re reading a book in front of uh, the fireplace. Wait, what? 
Or did we like pass out? And I am uh, stacking building blocks. Oh no, we're flat. It's a little flashback. Must be my parents are arguing in the smoking room. We had a little bit of flashback there, I think, by drinking that cocoa. Uh, what do we got here? This is the, the the booze. Yeah, it is. Guess we'll take a little drink of that too. Maybe. <coughs> Liquor is not alcohol. It is more a uh, uh, tincture of in fiction. Or in fact, uh, yes, uh, medicine and oh, okay. So it's wait what? Most common fatal disease. Well, it was, so it, it, it's uh, what do they call that? Um, I can't think of the name of it, what they called it. <clears throat> Hold on, let me, I gotta fix something real quick too, chat, sorry. <clears throat> okay, there we go. My my chat is kind of like delaying for some reason. But once I tab out, once I do that, boom, fixes itself. Uh they gave away so much information because, well, they weren't uh, overwhelmed with internet, TV, and stuff, reading newspapers. Yeah, it's true. But, I mean, and then lawsuits. I mean, obviously, you know, it, when you come when it comes to minors and stuff like that, there's information that they're never going to give nowadays. Um, and rightfully so, you know, your minor accidents happen. You know, there were eight. <laughs> you know, there, there were eight. You know, and, you know, and, and it happens. Latchkey kids. Master Victor, let me guess. Have you come for some hot cocoa? Uh, Master Victor, have you come for more, uh, some hot cocoa? Sure, ask for a cup of cocoa. Ask for something stronger. Would there happen to be anything stronger? I see you're all grown up. There's still a little homemade liqueur if Judge Voronin's not polished it all off. Oh, to drink some. Help yourself. It's been an age since we've seen one another. I'm glad you're back. Mistress Ligia is really struggling with everything. It seemed to be. Ligia seemed like like spot on with what was going on, right? Uh, Mr. Mr. Ligia is really uh, struggling with everything. Ask about the father's death. Ask about Ligia. Let's ask about his and death. And so the great Stanislav Shulsky is dead, crashed by a building. Can't say I'd wish a death like that on anybody. An awful death. Sheer cruelty. Mr. Shusky didn't deserve it. Now all we can do is think back on what a wonderful man he was. That won't take long. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's get a little more. Let's get a more. So, this death... What do you make of it, Grzynka? I'll tell you in Grzynka. confidence, Master Shulsky. Now, I'm Grzyn a simple Grzyn woman, Grzyn but something about your father's Grzynka. death Grzynka. doesn't well, sit right I don't see a right C or a K in there. How do you mean, Grzynka? Oh, now don't there's a K. Don't you suspect some impure powers had a hand in it? Do you mean it could have something to do with thaumaturgy? That, I don't know. Look at us jabbering while there are potatoes not peeled. Forgive me, Master. Let's ask about Ligia. Ligia won't open up to me, but how is she doing? She's having a rough time, the poor dear. Her heart is heavy, though she doesn't show it. But she's strong. She keeps her chin up and doesn't give in. And it's good she's got you to help now, Master. Only she started smoking. Like a chimney. She takes after her father. No question about it. Another time, Grzynka. I'll get out of your way. Always ample work. But I can always snatch a moment for a chit-chat with you, master. <clears throat> I wish I had enough money to have, like, uh, a full-time cook. And, and, and uh, you know, like a maid service and all that, you know, full-time maid service. Be great. Who's this? 
Oh, it's Ligia. Have you found anything She's yet changed. about the Grimoire? Is there any way I can help? Uh, is there any way you can help? Uh, ask about the company. Uh, note her unusual attire. Uh, ask about the woman trade. No, we don't want to do this yet. If we want to find out anything specific, we, if we do this, then this will skip us ahead. So let's, let's ask about What's the company next first. For you? You're in charge here now. Have you got some kind of grand scheme? A grand scheme? Oh, for now, I'm just trying to keep my head above water. Certain Water. customers are unconvinced it's that a, a woman can handle running a business. What's worse, a woman without powers. You know what I mean. A thaumaturge at my side would shut them all up. After hint, all, hint. it's your heritage too. Was that, that felt like a hint hint. I need you, brother. Stay by my side, be my bitch, is what, is what she's saying to me. Move to Thailand, Taco. Why am I moving to Thailand? What'd I do? Uh, wiggle out of it. Uh, refuse. You don't want this. Uh, assure her that uh, she can count on you. Oh. I'm, I, like at first, I, like I said, I trusted her at first, but I don't know what it is. She hasn't really done much to make me not trust her yet, but I feel like it wants me to go down this road just so I could be upset. Because let's face, face it, let's face it. Um, women are a bunch of liars. Conniving. <laughs> joking! I'm joking! I'm joking! <laughs> I don't know anything about running a company. But if I can help in any way, you can count on me. Thank you. That means a lot to me. I trust the smoke doesn't bother you. Dude, I have freaking evil spirit thingies that follow me everywhere. The smoke is nothing. Uh, come on our smoking. Let's comment on our smoking because we don't you like smoking. You used to detest the Gross. smell of tobacco. You told your breath going into father's study. That's true, but when I'd stay here, Have you tried vaping? With Papa, and somehow over the years I got used to it. I don't know when Imagine I started pulling out a vape. <laughs> Daddy's girl, you were always closer to him. That's not true. I was Back just less 20s, rebellious baby. than you, his thaumaturge son. Now come on, what else is on your mind? Cost me three bucks to oh to move to Thailand. Cost me three bucks to get my a huge basket of laundry washed, dried, and folded. Oh, doesn't sound bad. On, we're moving to Thailand. <laughs> Let's note her an unusual attire. She'd be like, oh, it's the new style. French fashion. Until I heard now, from Paris. I'd only seen women in trousers in the east. First of all, they're practical. It's the 20th century. It's high time we started dressing comfortably. That's comfortable? That does not, still does not look comfortable. None of this attire looks comfortable. This is casual wear. Are you kidding me? Casual wear is like a sweatshirt and pajama pants. Plaid pajama pants, right? That's freaking casual. <laughs> they would shit their pants if they saw how people dress nowadays. <laughs> Taco, what? Cheap living, get your cook and someone to do your laundry and clean yourself. Yeah, that was, yeah, that, that'd be great. Admit that she's brave. I uh, say this type of fashion does nothing for you. Ah, uh, we'll say she's brave. This day and age, you'd have to think she's brave because she would get spat on. You've always been brave, never afraid of anything or anybody. Like when mother almost had a fit. Because you dumped my best eye in hot cocoa. I didn't care that she was angry. I wanted to get you back for not wanting to play with me. Because you were being too annoying. You meant to say brave. By the way, Grajana still makes cocoa every evening. You can conjure up the flavor of childhood if you want. Is there anything else you want to talk about? There's a little hint hint there. We already experienced that, right? 
you know, so if we have Coco, I wonder if we if we keep having Coco, if we keep having flashbacks type thing, if we pick, keep on picking up little tidbits of stuff. Uh, all right, let's uh, ask about the woman's trace uh, you found in the study. In Father's study, I found a trace of a woman that I couldn't identify. Probably Svetlana Romyantseva. <laughs> let's hope Svetlana is some is pretty. God, why should be watch it be a freaking beast of a man? <laughs> ask about. Uh, let's ask about her. Who is she? And what does father have to do with her? Svetlana is a Russian aristocrat who travels with the Romanovs' court. I can only tell you she was a customer of father's. A customer? If you don't want to say, then don't. So our dad was a... Uh, Where can I find her? Prostitute himself? When she's in town, she stays at the Imperial Hotel. What? She Custom. might know something that the will way help she said me that. find the grimoire. Not so fast. To get in, you're going to need me and my connections. Svetlana is famous for her soirees where she hosts the Creme de la Creme Warsaw. <gasps> Ooh, a little party. Let's go. <laughs> uh, ask what uh, a soiree is. I know what a soiree is. It's a party. You click it. No, I already know we what it is. Together. How about you track down some evening clothes and I'll sort out the invitation. And I won't take no for an answer. Sadly, you never give me a chance. Unfortunately, everything in my wardrobe is antediluvian. I need a I think that was a movie of set, set of a There's woman. a shop at a movie. Street that's fairly decent and quick. It's we good. also have barbers Great. in Warsaw in case you want to do something about whatever you have growing on your head and face. Uh, uh spots this young kid taking care of a blind dude, I think, right? Scent of a woman. And he kind of learns a little bit about life from uh, the blind dude. Really good. Really good movie. Late 80s, early 90s, I think. By 90s, I think. Uh, go to the tailor and collect the evening, evening wear. So that has us going out. So we do have to actually go to the tailor and evening wear then. Yeah. Wait, why is it having this green square? So this must take us outside of the house and then garden. Let's go take a look at the garden real quick. Are you lost? Fuck. Don't try to be a hero, and it'll be all right. Oh, battle time. You're outnumbered. Point out they don't have the edge. Uh, attack, uh, let them withdraw. Quantity doesn't always translate to quality. Call the rest. We got one with a death wish. The rest? Oh, shit. They got more. That was the worst whistle ever. That sounded like my wife trying to whistle. <laughs> He's the worst at it. It's like, no, do this. And no, she. <laughs> uh, improve uh, thaumaturgy. We got four. Oh my god, we got four improvements we can do. Uh, these are human. Which, uh, manipulation this upgrade allows you to manipulate the dimension indeed. I forget which one's like better. Heart, I think, is better for the human attack. I think we learned, right? God, this is where this. I wish I would have played this the other day, or like, like last week when I would have remembered. Let's develop that. Uh, adrenaline rush, adrenaline, uh, five, increase in. Inflicted damage by 50%. Oh, yeah. An obvious target. Um, this also upgrades your permanent health points by two plus uh, exposure five seconds. Uh, increased taken damage by 50%. Increased taken damage, like my damage taken? Or their taken? That must be their taken. I can't see them giving us a. Let's just keep going. Uh, oh, wait, that cost us two. We only have one. All right, so let's hold on on this one, but we'll, we're will we going to go with this dude. Let's 
start fight. And we can change this at any time because the other dude can delay attacks from them. The other uh, monster thingy. I already forgot what they're fucking called. <laughs> uh, planned attack up. Quick attack. We need to. Be, or we actually have focus. Our, our focus is all the way up to eight. Reduce focus. Reduce focus by one additional point. So he has pretty high focus right now. Increase damage of the saluters. Uh, next attack by fifty percent. Sufferers receive five, three, four, and then every round. Let's do this one. We're gonna use the him. And he's gonna do blood penance, uh, inflicts damage, targets health points, determines how much damage the skill inflicts. The more health points, the higher the damage. All right, so he's taking damage already. He's almost, he's, yeah, he's going, he's gonna be going way down. So let's attack him with. So we took four there. I think we can steal health with the other, well, other one too, right? I think he steals health. Inflicts damage, lowers the enemy and uh, health points. Owl suffering an enemy an enemy's health points at uh, less than percent. I forget one of them. I thought stole health. Uh, inflicts damage, inflicts damage equal to eight for the enemy's suffering. Say we go after, we don't need that much on him though. Yeah, let's just do that. And then for him, suffering as well. Oh, he's dropping, he's almost dead. Quick attack. Get your num nums. All right, here comes the other two. Ooh, he's got his shirt off. Let's go. <laughs> All right, what's this guy? Focus. Uh, reduce impact on owner's focus by one. Uh, required dimension, uh, dimension force. We don't have dimension force. Um, and then he's got, they, so they both have buffs. Uh, we'll stick with this, 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 this guy. Um, He's got, what, 35 plus... If we reduce... Reduce focus by one additional point if enemy is suffering... He's not in suffering state, so that's not going to work. Uh, removes all negative status effects from you, which we don't have any. Inflicts damage, health, uh, a substance detection restores. Yeah, there we go. So we got, we got three health there. Now, I don't know how much damage they're gonna apply to us here. Two again. We are losing focus, though. Uh, let's regain some health again. Oh my god, my food scale is gonna be delivered today. Did you see the... Cadbury egg cookie recipe I posted? I did not. 
Puka. I did not. There's a Cadbury egg cookie recipe. That sounds absolutely delicious and absolutely god awful at the same time. <laughs> I would eat too many of them. I would eat so many. Okay, this guy's got 26 health. We need to do something about him. Oops. Um, sorry, the chat disappeared. I had to pull it back. Um, shit, I think we might die here. Yeah, we're down to two focus, so we can't do much there. Let's switch over here. Inflicts damage equal to eight for each enemy affected by uh, inflicts damage. The lower the enemy's health points, the faster the skills. And then let's do... Increases by 50%, so that's just gonna double it. Or not double it, it's only half of it. Uh, blood winning inflicts damage equal to eight for each enemy affected us. No, we don't want that one. Shit. Switch back over. <clears throat> Let's regain some health. Ouch! Alright, so we got nat negative status effect going here. We need to remove that. But we can't. Shit. He's also got a negative status effect roll, and I don't know if we can finish him off here. We're going to die before he does. I, I, I think we're going to die here before he does. Oh, no, we got a lot of health from that. Nice. Oh, we stole a lot from that. Oh, thank God. All right, so he barely took us down there. Ten on that. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> How did he survive that? He's got to die here. Holy shit! Get off my lawn! Holy shit, we would have traded deaths there. If it would have played through, if that was if that was like uh hunt showdown, we would have traded deaths there. <laughs> Victor? I heard a noise. Are you alright? I'm fine. Don't We've worry had about a few it. Unwelcome visitors. Yeah, we're just taking care of some burglars? Robbers and thieves. What's wrong with this town? I'll call Uncle. There's no rush. I don't think they'll try to rev anyone any time soon. <laughs> that, was, that was way too close. That was way too close. I didn't want to die. Turn-based games, I love turn-based games, but I don't remember half the commands already. I, like, we figured it out last uh, last stream, but uh, like now I like, forgot everything. Is there... Oh, I want to take a look, see if there's anything hidden here. I don't think I can rotate the stream or the screen either. So that, there's nothing out here. So we just got them. All right, let's go back in. Um, visit the barber. All right, so we got to go visit the barber. It's not raining anymore, thank goodness. What's oh? Oh, it's uh, brings up this. It wants us to go to the carriage, go to the barber. What the hell is this? What is this thing? Like, we looked through it. All right. Uh, wait, the cemetery? No, we want to go... 
to the tailor and collect the evening wear. So we're going to ride there. How do we do this? Because it's nighttime. Are they closed? I don't know how to do this. Or maybe we just got to walk there. In, in order to go to the cemetery, I think we need to take the carriage. I think we just got to walk there. Then again, the exclamation mark shows us going there. So I don't, I don't know. Who knows. Yeah, I don't know how that works because this uh, tram stop. Hmm. I tried taking the carriage, but it wouldn't take me, right? Up north, you don't have 24... Uh, we don't have 24 darkness, uh, brother. Uh, during uh, winter, we still have a few hours of sun. Winter time. Where you're at, you don't have a full 24 hours. You still have a little bit of sun. That's good. So how do I utilize... Uh, clatter of a horse-drawn carriage. Uh, screeches of the hustle. Two words, not home. How do we select that? Can I go here? It will... So let me go there, but... So where's the tailor at? We went the wrong way. Here's the tailor's place right here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now I get it. We just got to find it on the map and we got to go there. Uh, okay. 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 Don't judge me. We'll just click. Cause doing the, doing the zigzaggy run thing, some, it can be a little annoying. I don't know if the tailor's gonna be open. It's nighttime. Oi! What's up, homies? A ticket. Uh, corner whatever entry ticket for a show September at 4 p.m. So we can go to the show now. Oh, dude. All right, so is this the tailor here? See, it has me going that way. But it wants to, we want, we need to change too, right? Go to the tailor to collect evening wear. We need to go to the barber though, too. That's why, that's, that's here. But we've already changed, right? What's the evening wear? Uh, imploring note, uh, the note was written to Taylor's impatient customer, urging him to promptly complete the order. Otherwise, they threatened to revoke their advance and ruin the Taylor's reputation. I wonder if we're going to have to help the Taylor. Complete Taylor design. Excuse me. Damn it. I forgot to turn the key. Damn it, like Sorry, this what? You tell me. What is it? Uh, something continues to elude you. Keep searching. Uh, let's take a look around real quick. I won't bother you. Before we talk All to right. him, there's three options that are available, but we need to find them. Uh, Taylor's mannequin. This is where Taylor. Uh, there is an individual thread of focus left on the mannequin being ripped apart by a customer's visit. All the ideas that aren't good enough are rejected. Nothing but more alterations. Okay. Uh, so I, there should be one more item. I don't know if it'll be in here. 
We'll be outside, maybe. But at least that'll give us another option when we talk to him. It might be something that we'd get if we talk to enough people. But, like, he, we should have another option Well, here. let's get this over with. Nope, we don't. All right, let's just do it. I need some unit <laughs> work. Quick. Good proportions. Thank you. Alterations won't take long. Your name and address, sir? Viktor Shulski, 9 Green Square. I'll send a messenger when I'm done. And Mr. Shulski, if you'll allow me a moment of candor, as it often seems no one dares to address you with it. Sorry, what? Go and find yourself a barber in Povonsky. You look like a troglodyte. Now, I'd like to go to my business. Well, I won't bother you. I like my hair. All right. Welcome back, Victoria. I like my hair. Thank you very much. Uh, dirty cup of coffee. Uh, in the dregs, I can still feel the stress of urges. The tailor make more coffee to drink it hastily. Coffee is better than sleep. The sleep is uh, to waste precious time that could be used more alterations. So the tailor, the tailor struggles right here. Uh, the tailor is a steady hand of sewing, but his head reverberates with the lack of ideas. He needs inspiration. The frustration and impatience won't breed any good ideas. The way things are going, he won't finish the job or find creative peace. So I'm, I'm thinking we're going to have to help the tailor at some point. Um, He's under pressure from somebody to finish a job. And now he, he said, go visit the barber. Okay, so let's take telling me to go this way. It's going to take me to the carriage. I guarantee it. And I don't know how to utilize the carriage. I click on it and it... See? See? Get in carriage. How do we go to the barber then? Oh, no. He said, did he say go here? No, it's a cemetery, though. Visit the barber. Oh, yeah, we do have to go up here. Visit the barber. Why is there a barber at the cemetery? No, see, that can't be. Now, let's go there and find out. Cap. Yeah, it's back. It's back spelt backwards. It's something that I always do Onan, so she did it. Big brain Onan. Um. Alright, let's see if there's a, bar a barber anywhere. So it is leading me this way. So there must be a barber outside the cemetery somewhere. Dancing handbook. Uh, Leopold Delinsky, Modern Dances. Ooh! I wonder if they do the Dougie. Barber, found it. All right, is there anything worth uh, exploring here? No, let's just talk to him. Come in. Oh, look at his hair. He's got the sh he's got the hipster hair with the mustache and everything. The old man hipster look. Like all this stuff is like it, it's like it, well, it was like five years ago popular, right? For the old man hipsters. Uh, ask for a haircut. Please set my hair to rights. Yes, sir. Also, I have options. We can just literally leave it this. I like it. I think this hair is amazing. This is how my hair is if I would let it grow out. This is my how my hair was back in high school. Back, back during the grunge era. This, I didn't have the beard and the mustache, but I straight up had hair and it just like this. My part was on the other side, though. It's just the opposite. That's the only difference. God, no. Slick back. A little comb over. There, this is like what the, the, the barber has right now. God, no. We can go bald. This is me. Oh, wait. Can we go bald? 
Is this the option that it wants us to do? I'm wondering why this is red here. Let's go with this mustache. I still like this hair. I think yeah, with that mustache, it doesn't go. We can go with the barber look, which is here. We're going with this hair. Get haircut. Boom. Nailed it. I'm sorry. I don't usually talk to clients. Do you like it? I love it. <laughs> you think you're so special, I don't you? I love it. No, I invented the backwards thing. I never copy any <laughs> ever. <laughs> Martina comes in with a 50. Thank you so much. Taco, thank you for so much for playing this game and giving us an experience. Really appreciate it. Martina, no, thank you. Holy shit. Thank you so much for another 50. Greatly appreciate that, Martina. You're super sweet. Uh, admit that you like it. Uh, ask for something different. You guys like it? I like the handlebar mustache. You know, I give you something to hold on to. We didn't even change the hair. I, yes, I, I like that hair. I, this, like I said, if I took, had the patience and the my time to grow my hair always out, satisfied. I would do that again. But that is like, that's like a year's worth of growth right there. That's like a year's worth of freaking hair growing there. And I don't want to have to condition my hair again ever. Can, doing conditioner and shampoo sucks. Getting in the shower and standing there just let hot water hit you. That's the life. <laughs> I go download or update crap or whatever. I gotta keep refreshing chat to see whenever it posts. Uh, even if uh, uh, messages. Is, so is is chat not working for you either? Is that what you're saying? Because yeah, chat's been struggling for me. Prepare. Uh, prepare for the soiree. Okay, let's go. Got to go back now. Now we got to go get ready for this big soiree. Or, well, soiree is like a little party, right? That's what soiree is. But. All right, so it's having us go home, I'm assuming. Ooh, what's this? A brochure. Dr. Campbell's safe. Uh, ooh, here we go. Some soap for our hair. <laughs> the secret of radiant skin. You'll find all the major drug stores and perfumes. All right, still going this way. Yeah, we must be going home. I think this is our house right here. Yep. Uh, showering is such a chore. When do we get robots to clean us? I like that idea. I like that. Idea. Ooh, what's this? Let me guess. It's an outfit. Our sister not only is going to She's going to dress us well, now. I guarantee you. I it. don't know. I don't know. I see you went to a barber. That's something, at least. Yeah, we just shaved Recently, her face. I met a bearded guy <laughs> who's not especially fussy about his appearance. And yes, people welcome him everywhere with open arms anyway. Ooh, Rasputin, mm, Maybe we're he's about. a natural charmer. I've heard that can get you into the Imperial even without a tailcoat. Very funny. Are you getting dressed so we can go, or have you changed your plans? Uh, get Chris and set off. Uh, tell her, wait a moment. All right, let's take a look around real quick, see if there's anything else. It's hard for me to leave behind an image I've perfected over so many years. Let's take another look around real quick before we change. I just want to make sure there's nothing else that popped up before we dip. I feel like we're getting in a fight. At this soiree, something's going to go down. I know it. I know it. We're going to get into a fight. All right, I don't see anything. Let's go upstairs real quick and dip, double check. Make sure nothing's up here that we need to grab. <sighs> oh, oh, there we go. I was like, we're stuck. And then there. 
there. Nothing in Dad's study. Alright, 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 alright. All right. We'll head out. Unless somebody left, left a deuce in the, in the bathroom. What? That's weird. I it like jams up a little bit trying to move right off the transition. Have you made up your mind? I have. This soiree isn't going to last forever. Oh yes. I was going to see no if I do me. fit in. in I want to be washed. I'll go get changed too. <laughs> oh my god! I look like a matador. Look at you. And here I worried I, I was the a only a one who looked good in trousers. A red table. Cloth. Very chic choice. Yo, ole! I look like a matador, even with my mustache. It's amazing. <laughs> Say thank you and return the compliment. Why would I do that? Say you look better than she does. <laughs> Set right off. Thank you. You look fantastic. Thank you. You think Papa would be mad that we're going to a party right after his funeral? I hope so. Victor. He could have kept from losing the Black Grimoire. Are we ready? Yes, the carriage is waiting. All right, we're going to Asfare. Welcome to the Imperial Hotel. How may I help you? Ligia Shulska. Here on the invitation of Svetlana Romyantseva. I'm glad yes, she said we that. we are expecting you, of course. <laughs> the uh, soiree is taking place in apartment 237, second floor. I wish you a thrilling and successful evening. I'm impressed. How did you sort that out? Our name still means something. Let's do our best to keep it that way, all right? I would have so botched all of that sentence when she said we're here for whatever invitation by. Oh my God, that would have been horrible. You all would have been laughing at, my, at me and I would have been like, stop it. What the hell's going on? <gasps> Who are you, my golden slithering friend? Victor? Victor. Slytherin. I Victor. knew it. Harry Potter's here. Yes, uh, of course. These people are just waiting for us to put a foot wrong, understand? Yeah, no possible tongue here. Into the vipers, then, brother. <laughs> <laughs> These people are just waiting for the. Uh, we're uh, walking into a viper's den. Well, yo, yeah. Did you just see what I saw? Were you sure that everything is all right? Tell her that you'll join her in a minute. We're gonna join you in a minute. I want to go check this out. A little longer. I'll meet you upstairs. Huh. Draco's about. See you there. <laughs> Let's do some investigating. So there's another one here. So it looks like we might be able to capture another one. Hey, baby. So, uh, Sophia. Well, well, someone oh, new. Three on one. Good evening. Good evening, Viktor Shulski. Irina Orova of those Orovs. Oh, yeah, those Orovs. This is Natalia Obolenskaya, and this strangely quiet soul is our delightful Sofia Skawan. Irina is exaggerating. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. Shulski. You look stoned. The Governor General's daughter herself. How do you do? What can you tell us? Her movements. What can you tell us? She, she moved like a like a marionette. What can you tell us? I, I'm moving my arms like you can see me right now. <laughs> Something continues to elude you. Uh, oh shit! So we're missing an option. Uh, all right, leave. I need to slip away for a moment. Oh no! What a shame. Oh no! What a shame. All right, let's, I want I want the options with these these fine ladies. Uh, golden cage in the golden cage is an exotic bird watching me with uh, beady little black eyes. The golden cage is a whisper of a woman who uh, can contemplated opening it. Uh, she was close to the releasing of the bird and lark uh, for a lark to watch the ensuing chaos. Uh, Yet yeah, something stepped her or stopped her, and the birds are still in the cage. 
Yeah. So I wonder who that was that wanted to release the birds and create chaos. Now, I don't want to talk to anybody yet because I want to find clues. Because the more clues you find, the more options you're gonna have uh, by talking to people. And the more options you have, the more you know, the more you can change the storyline and stuff. So, um, let's go upstairs, maybe. It won't let me out. I'm assuming. Yeah, it won't let me through that way. Yeah, let's go upstairs real quick and see if there's anything up there, and then we'll come back down and talk to those ladies and then uh we'll talk to those dudes too oh here we go seance poster uh the poster is advertising a mysterious madame samira the poster stuff uh s surface radiate radiates with a positive emotion the passer passers-by who laid eyes on the advertisement such a curiosity about the mysterious psych psychic and ex excitement revealed by in a quick heart rate apparently madame's uh seances are quite popular this is back in the day when you know like seances and stuff were taken a little more serious when it comes to uh, like supernatural stuff it was uh yeah a lot more people were open to the idea or i guess more afraid of the idea witchcraft and all that stuff was you know still a thing Uh, the, all these doors are locked. Oh god, shit! No! Mr. Shulsky? Didn't mean to do this! I didn't expect to see you here, of all places. You don't know how very flattering that is. And what brings you to the Imperial? A soiree! Uh, say, uh, you want to join Orsa Society? Ask what he's doing here. Ask why he's, uh, why he has so many scars. Yes, because that's the polite way of doing things. Hey, it's been a while. What happened to your face? If I may, there's <laughs> one question niggling at me. How did you get so many scars? Why do you ask? I've heard that Russian officers in training have drunken duels with sabers after hours. Mm, no. You can barely see them. A very barely peculiar custom. I'm interested. If that's true. Turn your head this way. So where did those scars come from? I've led an interesting life. Batman happened. <laughs> He's two face. Get it? All right. Before we before we continue on, I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back, chat.
volume back up in the game and get rid of that. Boom, boom. All right. <laughs> Glad I went too, because Doris had to go to the bathroom too. She's as I'm standing there at, at, at the bathroom, uh, she's like groaning and moaning, saying, "Let me out!" <laughs> so I had to let her ass outside too. Um, let's see. I'm imagining uh, you. I imagined you moving your arms. I do. Whenever I act stuff out, I always kind of do that movement and stuff. Like Ski calls me out because I usually back away from my mic a little bit when I do. <laughs> anyway, I've led an intriguing life. Oh shit! And there goes there goes chat again. There we go. Um, ask what he's doing here. I could ask him the same question. I'm passing the time. Ah, oh, curious hobby. I'm simply interested in people. Uh, da, 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 da. I was set to 30 seconds for what? Anybody doesn't know about the count? Uh, ask what he does for a living. A doctor, thaumaturge, or policeman could say the same. Your interest flatters me. Who knows? Maybe the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. And someday we'll even be friends. How well did oh, we're you not know friends? my tree? We enjoyed talking and lending one another a hand. Sounds kinky. <clears throat> Say you want to join the Warsaw Society. Shit, was, this is an option, right? This doesn't seem like a finalized deal if I do this. But I'm pretty sure this is an option that we could have later. I'm a little scared to do it. The cream of Warsaw society is here. We'll so do I it. thought it would be worth showing my face. With a name like yours, I'm sure you fit right in. After all, someone must have invited you. Uh, say you with Svatlana. Uh, say you came with your sister, or say you know Svatlana. Do we know her? We know her sister knows her, right? The friend of a friend of a friend is throwing this party, so you might say I know the hostess. Romance of herself? Look at you. Six degrees of separation and there. I'm you? like super close with this the person. friend of a friend of a friend. <laughs> what are you hoping for this evening? Who knows? Maybe I'm keeping an eye out for the future Mrs. Shulska. <laughs> Best of luck. You'll need it, since Ligia ended up with the entire inheritance. How do you know this already? What? I want to see the serpent again. Same here. Same here. Uh, how? Oh, there we go. H ask how he knows about that. How do you know all these things? People talk. I listen. That's all. But there's only four of us. So either Ligia, our sister, our uncle, whatever, military dude, or the lawyer would have, would have been the snitch in this case. Who did you say you were to my father? A trusted acquaintance. I supported him with good advice. Though truth be told, he rarely needed it. Your father had a gift for making good decisions. Which of my father's decisions would those be? Once that were good for your family, perhaps we'll have the chance to return to this another time. Goodbye, Mr. Shulsky. Yes, I'm sure. All right, well, that was interesting. He's very untr- I don't trust that dude at all. All right, let's go down and talk to those, those hot babes downstairs. All right, let's talk to him. <laughs> oh, there's another one here. Uh, wait, we examined this one, but let's take a look at this one here. This one's different. A precious and slender legs, uh, a review of a colorful feather and a sweet voice is unlike uh, vaudeville dancers. These uh, beauties make their love lovers part in their fortunes unwillingly. I don't know what this stuff is here, why we collect these things, but it's a thing. We got it. Right, let's talk to him. Isn't 
that our Mr. Shulsky? It is. Uh, ask if they're having fun. So this was our other option. How are you enjoying yourselves? We can't complain. Seeing She's as so the debutantes were getting a lot of attention. Really? Maybe you'll there tell it is. us something There's a about movement. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I love her movement. <laughs> She's very, very stiff with them. I love it. <laughs> Victoria, are you partying with Nightbot? You better stay away from my Nightbot, Victoria. You'll corrupt them. XYZ, hope you're doing well. Uh, maybe tell us something about yourself. Uh, tell her you know about the Gilded Cage. Tell them about yourself. Ooh, 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 ooh. So here's another option that is a pride thing. It draws from the flaws of pride level, but will also feed it even more. I don't understand that. That's like totally opposite. I suspect you want to hear more about the book. We've never met a thaumaturgist before. To tell the truth, I didn't believe they existed. You want to see it? A thaumaturge. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> but now you do. Well, it depends on what kind of trick you show us, Mr. Shulsky. Oh, they want to see it. Uh, ask him uh, about the gilded cage. So I is this heard the bird? a certain secret. Do you want to hear it? Here it is. Right here, yeah. Come now, we won't tell anyone. Uh, tell them about the gilded cage. Tease them a little first. Let's tease them a little bit first. They're they're, they're so enthusiastic. Let's 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 do the pride thing. Oh, well, maybe I shouldn't. Do you like being a tease? Kinda. <laughs> All right, tell them about the cage. Forgive me, ladies, for teasing you like this. Here's the secret. Come on, we're dying to know. Someone was recently playing with a lock on one of the gilded cages, wondering what would happen if all the birds escaped captivity. And I know for certain it was one of you. Sophia, that sounds like you. Admit it. And now what will happen to us, Mr. Shulsky? I'm not a fortune teller. Tell them that their secret is safe. Suggest to trade another secret. Ooh! got a secret can you keep it unless you trade with me too in exchange for my discretion i need another secret of yours that's the only way to keep everyone in check what should i choose our fathers don't know we're here there you are how naughty <laughs> none of your fathers know naughty naughty none especially not sophia's otherwise he wouldn't have let her come I'm How old are you girls? With this trade. And what now? She looks like she's in her 40s. <laughs> All right, let's leave. I need to slip away for a moment. We should go as well. We've really forgotten ourselves around you. That's nice to hear, but I understand. The soiree won't wait. I hear Rumyantseva has invited a real medium. Will there be ghosts? Ooh, this is going to be a I battle like with the medium. I wonder if the medium has the serpent. I wonder if the medium's uh, um, um, a saluter is, a, is the serpent there, and we're going to have to take it from her. Annette, formerly known as Ailish Kluan. How are we doing today? All right. Let's talk to these dudes. Oh, the, so the chicks disappeared. So, hey, guys. Did you see? I was just talking to them three babes over there. Impressed? What did we come here for? <laughs> These soirees are for old people. Good evening. May I? Please, we're not discussing anything consequential. <laughs> you keep on worrying about yourselves. I intend to make the most of this evening. See, I told you he was in love. Miss Scowon is out of your league, my friend. To say nothing of her father. Uh, keep listening. That's the only option we have. Old Scowan and I are practically on first name terms now. You'll see. I'm sure. So, one eye-catching girl has already got an admirer. What does that leave us, Maxime? 
Hmm, not much. The dull, the silly, or, well, the old. Oompa Lumpa Ligia Oompa Lumpa? She just passed this way. Pigs will fly before someone fancies her. She'd actually prefer Sophia Scowon, according to what I've heard. Well, what do you think? I watched the new Wonka movie on Max uh, a couple weeks ago. I freaking loved it, man. It was really good. I don't know if you guys seen it yet. Um, but yeah, it's really good. It's like a prequel. It's like the, the early life of Wonka, right? And how it became Willy Wonka. It's really good. Taco! Women were the equivalent of property, even if uh, she was a uh, uh, spinter uh, or, uh, at uh, 20 to 30. They have a... Yeah, I know. I know, Puka. Um, but still, it's still fun to call them out for being 50, for sure being like 50 years old. <laughs> I, our dad doesn't even know we're here. <laughs> spinster, yeah. I, I knew what you are talking about, spinster. Um, introduce yourself. It's the only option again. We only have one... Uh, uh, infatuate, infatuation, uh, Sergio wants to impress, uh, his companions. He hopes they're, to see him as worthy candidate for Governor General, uh, Scallon's daughter. Sergio has, uh, plans regarding Sophia, but, uh, they're yet to be realized. So are we going to have to help this Sergio dude? My name is Victor Shulsky. Oh, I said that with, well, there with we some, have it. like, gun, gun. Gumption there. That's the word I'm looking for. My name is Victor Suski. Wait, this one's locked? You won't be able to say this because your pride is too low. Son of a gun! So we need to build our pride, but so it's a negative and a positive in order to, you won't be able to say this uh, because pride is too like So we can't even see what it says. Shit. You don't like what they're saying. And I don't like what I just heard, especially about my sister. And, uh, what are you going to do about it? Son of a bitch. We don't even have... Oh, okay, so we're going to have to get our pride built up. Leave them alone. Shit. I wanted to battle. Defend our sister. Hell yeah. Man stuff. Good morning, Taco. Fellow viewers, uh, I'm Ultimate Lurker, but I uh, thought I would... Uh, it was a hello. It was an order. Thank you for... Or thank you, Taco and Chat, for causing me to laugh and enjoy videos. Well, Nikki, I appreciate you lurking. Appreciate you enjoying the stuff, and thank you for the comments. Pardon me, gentlemen. And, well, wel and, uh, I promise yeah, welcome that into I chat. will be well behaved tonight. <laughs> Nikki Watts. Lunatic. You're always welcome to chat, though. If you have anything to say, feel free. As long as it's at within, you know, you know, improper, you know, not, not improper, proper things. But, yeah, yeah. Thank you for saying that, Nikki. Appreciate it. So, can we we can come back to these dudes and fight them, I hope. They said some shit that, that, that we didn't like. Damn it. Okay, so now we know to build our pride up. It's going to unlock more things. Do the pride thing. As long as it works. Sometimes I don't want to because it just doesn't fit, in my opinion. All right, let's go to the soiree. All right, we got an item over here. Thaumaturgy never fails me. There it is. There is something here. Well, this must be... Okay, yeah. There's there's the madame. The seance lady. Seance table. Covered by a red cloth with imagine a, a constellation. Uh, or images of constellations. The fabric is tablecloth. Is permeated with wear, wear, weariness and nervousness. The emotions are fresh and clear. They're... They've just traveled from uh, Samaria's uh, fingertips as she held her palms there to avoid biting her nails for stress. Was it me who had the effect on her? Hmm. And we got our sister here. Got a record player here. Let's throw some music tunes on. A book mysterious book leather bound volume let's see quickly j jotted words nervous browsing Ill illegible notes and something else a, a deed i cannot define whether uh, something is obscuring it from me as this book doesn't want to be read strange so i think she's a thaumaturge as well a thaumaturgist or whatever 
but I think I'm guessing her monster demon thingy is uh like might, might be able to like seeing people's like predict the future maybe or something maybe that's enough what do you want yep oh wait did that did they have serpent tail the trick with entering someone's head i know one person who can do that you're not much of a thaumaturg oh no that. no you come here to torment me unmask me <laughs> you guys can't see that one fun in unmasking you. So what do you want? I didn't know this had them in there. Shit. <laughs> uh. No. Okay, so we can bring you guys back right now. And then when I talk, when I ask her the question, I'm gonna switch it back over because it has has stuff in there you can't see. Okay. <laughs> Thaumaturge's Madame Samurai is not only a mysterious psychic, uh, but a thaumaturge. Uh, aware of the wild uh, Selator's uh, presence, she wants to capture him for herself, so he's not happy to have anything Thaumaturge around. Uh, she's clearly determined to get uh, the Selator, uh, which is why she is trying to so hard to dis uh, me from from the haunt. Or hunt. Raise the object of the wild Selator. Uh, first point out her Selator. Okay, so let's, uh, I'm gonna do this. Wait, hold on. Can I put like a thing over the screen where that thing appears? <gasps> I can, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put, where's my eagle at? I'm gonna do this real quick, chat. Um, let me tab out real quick. You guys are gonna have to look at this instead. Hold on. I can add an object here. Um, maybe. Add, um, image where's my images it's been forever since i messed with anything text no video what where's my thingy where's like add the freaking image thing um image there it is geez old pete's and i can just pull an, an existing image add an existing one and we are going to use the freedom eagle if I can find it. Because that has a widespread, but I just don't know what I have it labeled. Oh, eagle, right there. Eagle. Okay. Boom. And we're going to do this. And it, like, appeared somewhere in this area, but we'll find out here once. And no, it's a little bit farther over. A little bit farther over there's more in this well no because it's like she stands right here right or she stands right here so it's gonna be more like right in there so this spot this is about right right here i think i think we'll be good but we'll try it we'll try it i'm gonna actually before i bring you back i'm gonna double check and make sure raise the subject of the solitaire uh first point out her solitaire your seating is quite impressive oh my Glad god it moves nowhere madame you're being impolite what about a little competition? I gotta bring it down a little bit farther. I'll pass. So it's right in this area here. Okay, I think I know where I know where to pull it now. I know where to pull it now. It's in this area here. Right there. So I apologize, chat. You're gonna have to deal with the, the, the freedom eagle in order in order for me to keep playing this. <laughs> Because it is YouTube. If it was Twitch, it, it, I wouldn't worry so much about it. Because it's part of the game, and Twitch kind of allows a little bit more when it comes to that. But I'm not dealing with, you know, whatever it is, what it is. Uh, draw conclusion. Uh, Summer Solitaire looks impressive, uh, to say the least. Uh, it, it's uh, serene. Uh, or it's a, oh, it's a siren uh, The matches her mysterious aura. Behind the mysterious guy guys uh madam sermon is a thaumaturgist or thaumaturge accompanied by a siren as uh, intriguing as, as herself the role of the psychic allows Sa Samar uh, samira to freely frequent social gatherings that also lure solitaires she's chasing that's kind of cool so she's chasing other 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 ones as well all right let's see if this thing covers it up i i hope it does i hope it does 
I think your idea of pretending to be a medium is fantastic. It sounds like I impress you. How many it does. people? It does. Know? It does pretty good. Is that a threat? Oh no! Almost. She moves too much. She moves too much. We gotta do like this a little bit more. Just a little bit more. That that should do it like that. Freedom Eagle. <laughs> Read stuff to the wild salter. I noticed a wild salutor here. So the the I serpent one's downstairs. Your being here has something to do with him in particular. Mm -hmm. Keep your nose out of this. Mm, why? Because I'm warning you. Oh, 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 okay, there's a little peak, peaky boost. There's a little, little peaks, but I think we'll be all right there. I, I think there's enough separation between the two, so I think we're going to be good. <laughs> Beautiful eagle. Thank you. You like my wings? <laughs> um, what I need to do is get like a, I need to generate like a, like a blur thingy that I can just slap on at any time and move it around. So I think that's that might be a thing I should just add. Just so I could always have when I'm doing game capture or a situation like this. Because this game, I don't want to stop playing it. I hope there's not a bunch more. And I think I might be able to get away with it. I don't think YouTube's going to have a fit with what we've seen so far. So I'm not going to worry about it too much. But as long as I keep the eagle here for right now, especially if we have to fight her, if we have to see much more of it. And then I'll just remove the eagle when that when the time comes right. Uh... Say they do what you want. I, yeah, I just wish there was like a streamer mode or something too. Find out how much, uh, oh, so because I'm wear, uh, warning you, find out how much uh, she knows. Let's find out how much she what knows. What do you know about this salutor? Do you know its name? Don't you? A name doesn't tell us much anyway. All that matters is picking out the person in this crowd with a flaw. I know perfectly well who carries the flaw. Another reason for you to stay out of it. The siren looks like Harley Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> now that now that I'm looking at her face, <laughs> now that I see the siren's face and nothing else, <laughs> it, she's got a scar on her face, like like the Joker. But then she's got some color and stuff, like purple and stuff. So I, I think of her, the Harley Quinn thing. But I go the eagle is naked. <laughs> no, the eagle has feathers. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Ask about the person uh, with the flaw. Let's ask about the person. The person with the flaw attended the seance, right? <sighs> so I'm on the right track. Have you finished? Person with the flaw. So the person with the flaw will take part in the sem uh, Samira's seance. The thaumaturge cleverly planned everything. Say what you do, what you want. Uh, it's, it's, That's not it's, such a ladylike tone, madame. Yeah, madame. Maybe we should just let the best one catch that saditor. <laughs> you mean yourself? Ah, uh, she'll remember that. Oh, shit. So, should we finish up? That would be best. We should have played it cool. And listen to me carefully, Mr. Whatever your name is. Shulski, but you can call me Victor. Now, Mr. Shulsky, you will vanish like a bad dream, and I will get back to work. Okay. We can get rid of the eagle for right now. Um, I will need to hotkey that, but as of right now, it's not. Um, boom. Hit, okay. Eagle gone. <laughs> I need to hotkey that so bad. Wait, food, are we winning? We were winning, and then, and then Sabu disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. Oh my god. I'll have to see if there's an option for like remove remove the boobas. <laughs> I don't think there was. Otherwise I would've when I go through the, the, the stuff, but um I'll just have to, I'll create a hotkey, make sure that the eagle's always available or something. Maybe I'll, I could turn the eagle into like a transparent with like uh like a s like I don't know, like uh like the black bars or like the dis distorted look just to hide the things and I can move it around as needed. So we got a uh, lady here. This is a whose party it is, right? Svetlana Port. Yeah, that's her party. Let's see if there's any more things around. Okay, we got a bedroom here. Oh, no, it's a bathroom. Look at the size of that toilet. 
It had, it, like, did toilets back then, were people so backed up you had to have handles on your toilet? You gr literally grab, pull, and push at the same time? Pull up and push out? <laughs> Is that what you had to do? You can't sit on it. It'd be interesting to see. <gasps> As I picture as a, a dumb and dumber when he's in the bathroom and he blows up the toilet. All right, we got an item here. Uh, have some cognac. Uh, discreet half words, meaningful half smiles, and uh, sideline glances from behind the fan, uh, be behind a fan, merely a appearance. The truth that they've found myself a den that makes uh, den of snakes. People must trade care or tread carefully here. That's, that's like high society in general, right? You, you're constantly like, oh, shit. So here's the serpent. So we got a lady with a fan and the lady drinking here. I wonder if this is like a clue on like who has the, 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 the serpent. Do we see anybody with a fan, though? She has a fan, I think. You can't see. So I wonder if this is the serpent lady. Oh, she's checking herself out. Uh, our sister was somewhere too. I guess before we talk to uh, the the soiree lady, let's go talk to our sister. Over here, we got two items actually. I think right? No, we don't. We got item over here. Champagne glasses, uh, empty of champagne glasses, the lips of uh, that sipped champagne a moment ago kept uttering cutting words of uh, contempt. Some, some included regrets marrying the alleged idiot uh, Louisa, uh, but I doubt uh, she is the idiot in the relationship. So a dude sipped and he regrets marrying her and okay. So that might come in handy. Let's talk to Sis. Here you are. Gentlemen, meet my brother. Viktor Shulsky. The last Shulsky to wear trousers. You don't know that. Miss Ligia could yet produce an heir to the fortune. Maybe even with me. My sister she wears trousers. My but I let's saw. talk like men. You intend to take over your father's man. company, correct? <laughs> Let's talk like men. <laughs> I would be like, I would start laughing in his face. If somebody said that to me like that, I'd be like, yeah, let's please. <laughs> so how about that game yesterday? How about U of M? <laughs> I sincerely admit that Ligia knows what she's doing. Uh... Say you, you respect your father's will. Uh, let's say if she knows what she's doing. I feel, I still feel like I could trust my sister. Oh. Mentioned Pislowski's wife. I wonder if he's the one that married. He took the sip on the, of the glass. Let's do this. First, I suggest you mind your own business. Your marriage, for instance. Perhaps Louisa isn't the ninny you take her for. I beg your pardon? Hasn't it occurred to you that when you leave her at home, she might also take advantage of her solitude? What are you <gasps> suggesting? <laughs> You've got a cockold's horn. <laughs> I was I just about subtle? to say that. He's a cock. <laughs> I suppose it's true what they say about you. Yes, what's that? You've lost your mind. Oh, damn it. No, we should have chose that option every time. No, I don't know what it's the option. I just want to be, I want to be such a smart ass here. Fuck these old dudes. M admit, uh, say thank you. I'm not going to admit that I have mental problems. No, thank you. Thank you. I've worked long and hard at that. Good luck with your business, miss. <laughs> Later, a-holes. <laughs> I almost feel sorry for them. Have I crossed the line? Nonsense. Any progress with Svetlana? 
Uh, mention Madam Samira. Uh, ask about Sophia Scallon. Uh, we haven't talked to the other chick yet, so let's we'll have to go talk to her yet. Um, mention that you've met. Uh, Con oh, so that's the dude out there, the bald, the bald dude, right? Guess who I ran into again? All mysterious and carved up. Ivan Konietkin. Konietkin. That's what do you know about I won't remember how to say that, but I just mm, nailed it there. Not much. <laughs> he was an acquaintance of Papa's. Well, in theory, it's thanks Sometimes to you need to be rude to be here. proud. True. What? Ligia. I know that nothing comes for free, but he really didn't want anything. Yeah, he looks like a real altruist. Uh, ask if she's having fun. Ask about Sophia. Let's ask about Sophia. Sophia Skawan, the Governor General's daughter. Do you know her? No, and I don't suggest you make her acquaintance either. Why not? Skawan can't like stand thaumaturges. Warning, Governor General Skawan is not very fond of thaumaturges. Uh, why am I not surprised another person who sees an obscure threat in us? Okay, so that's interesting to know. So we're going to have to tippy toe around the governor and his daughter. Uh, let's mention... I've taken a long, deep look at Samira. She's no medium. Samira is a thaumaturge on the hunt. On the hunt? Yeah, she's collecting her Pokemon. <laughs> this game's great. I, I mean, the story is fantastic so far. I'm digging this. There's a lot to it. Holy shit, it goes deep. Uh, I'm too lazy to make cider. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan. You don't like uh, cider? Like uh, apple cider? Is that what we're talking about? Swedish cider. Shitty ones like Swedish cider. Yeah, we get. I love apple cider. This this year is probably going to be pretty shitty if we get another frost because the the trees have started budding. It's gonna like trees are apple cider is gonna come early this year because spring came so early, so early. But now it's cold, so hopefully as long as we don't get a frost and kill off. You know, the budding trees and stuff will be all right. Uh, tell her about the wild salad tour. Yeah, okay. Madame has spotted a salad tour that's attached to one of the guests. What kind of salad tour? Remember those fairy tales Mother used to read us? Uh, and the legend of the golden snake? Yes, Velas. Yes, I'm glad you're here. Are you also hunting for him? His name I is admit Valis. I'd like to have him. I haven't made up my mind. Be careful. I am. So That's I can choose I if I want to. Mind. Is is it like are we limited on how many solitaires or how many uh, saluters we can have? Um. Uh. Let's see, Valis. Uh, the Slavic Lord of Underworld is a go is a god of wealth. A, a schemer, a schemer, a schemer, God, schemer, <laughs> shut up, a schemer. Uh, the soiree gives him the perfect conditions of feet for feeding, goading, and plotting. I kind of want him. I kind of want it. I want a snake in my pocket. <laughs> shut up. I know where your mind went there, chat. You freaking get your head out of the gutter. Uh, Ask if she's having fun. You enjoying yourself in this viper's den? Oh, the vodka is quite tolerable. I'm observing my own brother taking out his anger on ordinary mortals. I don't know. Why she sounds so about. American right there? Ordinary mortals. She sounded like she'd be doing a TikTok right there. <laughs> her vo her accent literally disappeared. Ordinary mortals. <laughs> All right, let's leave. I'm going. Let's go talk to the the soiree hostess. Unless there's something else, some th other things will appear after um, talking to people. So we'll go do a quick uh, snap of the fingers to see if there's anything else that popped up. Oh, I'm so irritated though. I wanted to to be ruder to those dudes, which we were pretty rude. We just thanked them, right? Which was good. We pissed them off pretty good. That was funny. It was worth it. So I wonder why this wardrobe is locked. Uh, find the person with the flaw that oh, the wild solitaire is seeking. 
or salute salute or salutor. I don't know how does he even say that. I haven't really paid attention. So here's Svetlana, but it says find the person. It might, he, let's go back out and because that's their next goal here. It might be downstairs. Why do I hear whistling? You hear that? It's, 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 yeah, it's rough. Wait, it's taking me back that way, though. So we might have to actually look at people. Can we talk to these dudes again? What are you looking for again, lunatic? Oh, uh, we can't. Pardon me, gentlemen. Damn it. I promised that I would be well behaved tonight. Lunatic. <laughs> I'm not crazy. <gasps> what do we got? A fan. Oh, the image that we found. Or the image that we saw. Uh, the lady had a fan with him. Uh, with a mother pearl and pearl hand uh, of pearl. Uh, mother of pearl handle. <laughs> like, uh, start over. Right, hold on. We found, oh, shit. We can't click on it again. It says something like a mother of pearl handle. Something, something, something. Shit. <laughs> Ski, how we doing today? I was an American once. You're not American anymore? I feel sorry for you. Anybody that's not in America. Lame. <laughs> Which is most of chat. That broken dishes? Can't look at it. All right. So it is leading us back this way. So let's follow where that snap is taking us to. Because we did find a fan, which is good. I just, I, I, I wish I could have, uh, like, I was, I was like gonna reset, but I forgot you couldn't once you, once you unclick it, removes the item. So yeah, huh? Hi. <laughs> I'm not creepy at all. See, this lady had a fan earlier. I thought. But we can't interact with them. I think we're just gonna have to talk to her. Yeah, we're just gonna have to talk to her because there's nobody else we can interact with. Other than our sister and then the, the the Oh, are these the dudes that we pissed off? Yeah, let's go talk to her. Hey baby, nice party! It's a soiree, thank and the you very much. says to him, tell us something funny. Then Bautsky replies, General, why don't you shoot a cannon first? That's a good one. I'll have to tell it tomorrow at the Orwaffs. Who might I love that joke. Our conversation? You know, sir, your face looks familiar to me. My name is Viktor Shulsky. Ah, oh, yes, I can see something in your eyes. I was sorry to hear about your father. I'll see you next time, darling. Wonderful party. See you there. Oh, like the mythos of the game. Uh, Gotta bounce. Uh, tabletop I game day. Oh, have fun, Puka. This is hardly the creme de la creme. Creme de la creme. How do you find my soiree? Cream de la creme. Um, yeah, Puka, have a good time. Uh, we we actually doing tabletop games today too. My uh, my oldest birthday is today, uh, so we're meeting up with with her and doing some board games. So I'm pretty excited. So I'll be posting some pictures in uh, in Twitter for uh, twitter.com forward slash Texas five four one. Make sure you're following me there. And uh, or actually, I might post them here in the YouTube too. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and you can keep up to date in the community channel. Uh, I'll post some pictures uh, of uh, the games we're playing. We're going to a, a, a bar that actually has, you know, like, I think it, it's actually more of a board game place, and then they have a bar downstairs. So, but yeah, that's today's plans. Uh, how do you find my soiree? Uh, say what you think about the soiree, uh, about her soiree. Should we say what we think? Find out more about life at the, the Tsar's house or court. Let's, let's find out more. How is it being part of the Tsar's court? It is a blessing. 
and a curse. Forgive me if I do not elaborate. Let's say what we think I about this I'm soiree. I'm getting really acquainted with the social scene. Tuh. You spent a long time traveling, didn't you? Fifteen years. Over that time, I got used to harsher surroundings. And believe me, drawing rooms can be just as dangerous as untamed steps. You've met Anastasia and Marina. What about the others? Uh, raise subject of her guests. I've already met several distinguished guests. Madame Samira definitely stands out. She is exceptional, isn't she? Her presence is the crowning glory of the evening. Has anyone else caught your eye? Ivan Konechkin, for instance. Apparently, he knew my father. How remarkable. I wasn't aware. Konechkin is Small something world. of a secretive person. And have you yet had occasion to meet the debutants of this season? I'll be sure to seek them out. Ooh. This evening, Sophia like Scowen herself tonight. is to grace us with her presence. Well, well. I suggest you move quickly. The competition is fierce. The crux of the matter is that I'm here because of my father. You knew him. That doesn't sound like a question. Of course, I was his customer. I truly am sorry for you, both of you. The death of someone close is always a dreadful blow. Please accept my condolences. I appreciate that. I still don't trust her. Any woman that wears yellow this, this, this time of year, they don't know. <laughs> they don't know style. Press her for more su uh, subjects of other. Svetlana Petrovna, I must insist. Can you tell me something more about my father? Mr. Shulsky, I assure you, we have the most delectable vodka. Besides that, I warmly encourage you to join Madame Samira's seance. Seance. It will be an unforgettable experience. She says it all like, oh, seance. It's a seance, mm, bitch. I wonder, <laughs> is that truly everything our soiree can offer you? I've got no choice but to suffer through tonight. No need to miss. You notice words. a subtle threat. Oh, is she the one? Ooh. Every person with the flaw. Is she the one with the flaw? We noticed a subtle thing, right? I didn't read the whole thing. A subtle suggestion. Uh, Svetlana refuses to talk openly with me. Maybe she is anxious about all the gossip, hungry ears uh, surrounding or around us. Uh, still, I can't feel that she wants to tell me uh, something. Or I can, I can feel that she still wants to tell me something. I should watch her surroundings closely. Maybe I can learn something that way. Oh, okay. So she dipped out over here, right? She's got the fan. Yeah, she's got the fan. So I'm wondering if she's the one with... Uh, should we talk to Sis again? Find the person with the flaw, flaw that... So, how are we supposed to find this person? No, no. None of them. I don't know if we need to talk to follow split line of th thoughts. How do we do that? Check out, look at the bathroom, see if there's anything new. Oh, here we go. Is something here? There's something on the other side here. Here we go. I felt something. Where is it? Uh, tiled stove. There is some spot and rem remnants of burned letter on the cast iron. <clears throat> her usually steady hands were shaking as her eyes followed the writing words, or written words. Uh, he was watching her. She suddenly, or she already knew that, but uh, how dare he threaten her? Agitated, she threw the note in the furnace. Too bad she couldn't get uh, rid of the, the stalker that easily. Ooh! Olaf! You get away with, uh, from Svetlana! You stop stalking! Olaf's the one in the bushes. <laughs> 
The remains contain the author's concern about uh, Svetlana's condition expressed in a seemingly kind-hearted tone. The message ends with veiled threat foreshadowing a desire to interfere. So it's like a good stalker slash bad. There's no such thing as a good stalker, but the, I mean, you know what I mean? It's like, I'm concerned about you, but I'm watching, you know, and the reason why I'm, oh, there's something at the bed too. Time war, uh, time war and thought, though it looks like new, probably heavy. The chest is kept at the ready. Svetlana personal items were put into the chest and then removed all due to her growing anxiety and un certainty uh should she pack or leave again a restless hand closes the empty chest and decides to keep waiting trace uh is a uh, svetlana so we're, we're getting some information about svetlana she has a stalker and uh now she's terrified or something so then we also got this person or this over here too we're picking up all sorts of shit now silk pillow soft and cool to the touch the fabric carries a memory of a yearn from light uh, lightheartedness, passion, and sense of certainty. Two people found solace in each other's in each other here. Two people, Svetlana and my father. <gasps> Dad, she wears yellow, the devil's color. <laughs> the, the, the silk re remember, the silk remembers. The remember, uh, it remembers uh, the tentative planning, the re uh, recurrent doubts, the peaceful sense of everything that uh, was as should be and other co uh, chaotic thoughts caused by passionate intoxication and that i'd rather not know svetlana that's my father what do we have here a melted candle uh solidified wax carries the memories of honest grief mixed with fear however those emotions were quickly concealed with well practiced uh composure this candle is best is the best farewell to the deceased and svetlana or and uh yeah svetlana could afford okay so she cried to the candle like a prayer candle what do we got here necklace or something string of pearls the affection and gratitude of uh, of one woman covered by the shame of another. Though an honest gift from the Serena, Serena or from the Serena. Is that like the Tsar, Tsar's wife or something? Or daughter, maybe? So Lana feels guilty every time she sees it. Draw a conclusion. All of Svetlana's fears. No one. Uh, no wonder Svetlana was reluctant to talk if she's afraid of something watching her or someone watching her closely, especially if that someone knows a lot about her, and maybe even her pent-up desire to escape. Besides, she has an affair with my father. Maybe uh, I can make her confide in me. Then I'll ask her about uh, what I I came here for. The Black Grim. Grimoire. Okay, so that's everything. Now we can talk to her. Now we know she had an affair with my father. She has a stalker and she's like reluctant to talk about much because people are, you know, she doesn't know who her stalker is. Where'd she go? That's not her. She must have dipped off this way somewhere. Lana! Yoo-hoo! Lana, have you seen her? Find the person with the flaws. So we still need to find that person. Bring me this way, though. Oh, here we go. Wardrobe. Or uh, balcony. Oh, we're by ourselves, Svetlana. So, Svetlana, you're into my, my dad. You're in the old buck. But how did that go in in, uh, in Step Brothers? Or no, yeah, she's into the old man. And then the, what about you know, when she sees the old young buck? <laughs> when they're at the, before he meets her, really meets her before she moves in. And they're at, they're at washing dishes. <laughs> and his dad just, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I walk out naked with my uh, chest beard and my... 
<laughs> Do you smoke, Mr. Shulsky? Are we doing gar? Grar? I've quit. In light of our approaching conversation, why don't we dispense with the pleasantries? Call me Svetlana. I see how we doing today. Victor. Ask. Uh, tell her about the chart note. Uh, mention the affair with my father. Mention the travel traveling chest. Let's talk about our father first. Let's get this out. Let's get this done and over affair. with. <sighs> Two grown up, lonely people found momentary comfort in each other's arms. Sounds like the start of a song. But romance wasn't behind that relationship. It was just that we were both looking in the same direction. Uh, press her what the, ask her what that means. Uh, first, ask about her father's uh, human face. I didn't have the chance to get to know him as a person. Much less one who'd show such emotion. Oh, you that's all, that, that's love. hence the quotes. That? Was it love? Was it I love? Miss him. That's all. <laughs> Baby, do don't hurt me. Looking in the same <laughs> don't direction. hurt me. No more. Uh, tell about the charred note. The burned note. Who sent it? I only sensed underhanded kindness. Da, the Ochrana. Da. I don't know which one of them exactly, da. if that's what you're asking. I've worked hard at it. She has angry eyebrows. She she looks very angry. Is this why it's, it's fitting for who are like li, li, at least our our father? What we've known of him, he's an a hole. So it's kind of perfect. It's a relationship made in hell, which is heaven to them. Uh. Ask about the Okrana. What's o what's an what's the Okrana? The Okrana? Ochrana? It stands for Atilene po ochranieniu abszczestiennoj bezpasnosti. Oh yeah, that. In other words, Atino, what can you make? Should we go to which Makarushu to do the rabbit rabbit do? I'd like to know what they want. Knowledge. The Tsar's eyes and ears must be on guard. They infiltrate not only the city but most importantly the court. And me and my Suarez too, I'm sure. When did you receive this note? A few weeks ago, back before your father. Oh, you've only been I see. doing my father for a couple weeks then. That large travel chest. You changed your mind. About whether or not to pack. Right then, I wanted to escape badly. But that would have had its own consequences. In this game of false appearances, I'm the best. I still don't know how this lovely note ended up in your hands. But in addition, I found a lovely strings of pearls. And on it, your feelings of guilt. Your I don't want to know about my father and your pearl necklace, lady. <laughs> Too much detail. <laughs> Talk about the string of pearls. Oh, God. Here we go. So, the pearls. Tsarina Alexandra gave you those pearls. You two are close. Okay, so it wasn't confident. dad. That's good. That's good. I could call her my friend. I see how much she devotes to her family and the nation. Yet something has changed. Ew, Tago just ew. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. This is, this is what happens. Uh, talk about the feeling of guilt. Your feelings of guilt. Oh, Do always. they have She's something cheating, to right? do with Sarina Alexandra? With the whole empire, Ruski Mir in Podavai. We, the establishment, perceive the need for change. We want reform. The Colossus is already teetering, but if it falls... La guillotine, mon chéri. But I want to live, Victor. Ideally, closer to the West. Uh, keep pressing her on her, her father's role in all of this. Uh, get to the point. Say you're looking for a missing grimoire. Uh, let's press her a little bit more. I feel like we're going to need a little more information. The more information we have, the better. We're going to have to be able to, you know, press some other people. Uh, we haven't had any more pride options this? here. We need to build our pride, Willingly too. or otherwise, he was part of the establishment that wanted change and could see revolution before it arrived. 
The Okhrana knew about you, hence the note. They must have noticed something. Isn't it time you told me why you really came to my soiree? Uh... Ask if the Okhrana... Okhrana is how he's pronounced it, right? Okhrana? Uh, might have killed his, your father. Uh, find out what the what she intends to do now. Let's do this. Do you think the Okhrana killed my father? Your father was crushed by a building. I don't think that's how the Okhrana works. Perhaps you're right. What do you intend to do now? Nothing. Nothing. The Suarez will continue. Society has come to expect it. Everything will stay the same. I myself shall manage. Get to the point. Say you're looking for the mission. All right, for the missing grimoire. So if you're just getting here, um, our 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 father passed away, left my sister everything, left me a grimoire, a black grimoire. But it's missing, so we gotta go find the damn thing. I hoped you might know something about the Black Grimoire. My father left it to me in his will, but the Grimoire has gone missing. No. And the collapsed building? Have you been there? Not yet. Not yet. However, how hard it is, you should check there. It will give you more understanding than all the investigators put together. My dear boy, I know you notice a subtle thread to of in, I, I'm it's sorry, too fast. I can't help you there. You couldn't read it. <laughs> but I will not let you leave empty handed. I strongly believe that there is one place you ought to visit. What you find there belongs to you. Thank you. No, thank you for listening. All right, all right, all right. Let's go back in. Let's see. Find the person with the flaw. So she's kind of has the flaw, but she doesn't have the flaw. Right? Follow, follow Lana's thoughts, too. So she's bringing us into here. What do we got? Letters. Uh, father's letters to Svitlana uh, were very tender and uh, romantic. I would not uh, have expected this from him. If these letters had fallen into the wrong hands, they could have done a lot of damage to the lovers. Huh. Why am I going that way? I gotta get ready just in case. Just in case the siren reappears. Got my finger ready. Oh, there's the snake! <gasps> the golden snake. Venice. <laughs> Don't run away. Okay, got okay. Splendid ladies, distinguished gentlemen, the hour is at hand. I might switch back over to With my opening screen just temporarily. And the drawn, the souls of the dead slowly gather among us. On their command, I will give the chosen among you a tarot ready. card as your invitation to the table. Oi, what's Are this you, kid? Sir? A uh, tarot card. Uh, the card almost burns with emotions left on it. The thaumaturge must have put all of the hostility she could summon into a, the card. Honestly, toward me, or hostility, to, uh, hostility towards me. Maybe I will join the seance soon, if only out of spite. Um, put the card away. Examine the card. Ooh. Do we look at it? Or do we just put it away? I feel like this is a big choice right here. This might suck us in and harm us if we look at it. Okay, we're doing it. Fool. Our dear madame is fooling around and thinks she can scare me off. I'm done wasting time on this. Let us gather in secret ritual. 
Let's not secret. keep the souls waiting oh, but if I too secret, long. Secret ritual is Let there's a million people here. Let us effort together, not to spoil their visit. Eagle of the booboos. <laughs> All right, we didn't have to do it. We didn't have to do it. I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is create an overlay that just kind of like like blurs out the entire screen just enough where I'd be able to get away with it. And it'll take care of anything on the screen, but it'll you'll be able to still see the screen if that makes sense, right? Just enough where it's just like kind of like a like a like a pane glass, a uh, window type thing, just kind of like blur it the entire thing. So I'll set that up for the for before I play it this again. I'm gonna continue playing. I'm not done yet, but uh, I'm just saying um, that way I literally just have it at my fingertips. So you know, quickly apply that. Then I don't have to switch anything over. And stuff you know that's that, that's gonna be key i think um you know that kind of like uh when i bring actually i wonder if this would have hit it no that probably wouldn't hit it. i could have actually brought that in though and just made them bigger earlier but yeah something like that but it'll cover the entire screen and kind of kind of give it like a, a haze that way you guys can see what's going on for the most part and i can continue on um that's what i'm gonna do just th that way i don't have to worry about moving things around too if if the boobas are like off in this corner up here or over here, it'll just blur the entire thing. For games like this, especially where it's so minimal, it, you know, it, it just be easier. All right, we got, we do have a mirror here, it looks like. Crystal mirror. Uh, dimension force too low for my, oh shit. Okay. So we do have levels, but uh, we don't have dimension force. Wonder where that falls. Uh, Thaumaturgy. Mind. Where does the Dimension Force go? Oh, I forgot we had these things, too, we could use. We can move these around, too. Shit, there's so much to do here. This game is insane with all the stuff. And it looks like we're going to be able to make some adjustments with these dudes, too. But which one's the dimension force? Yeah, mind, heart. It must come in like later or something with one of these possibly. But we we never even came across anything to level that up. So I'm wondering, you know, we're still early game. So I'm wondering how that's even going to be a thing. Because I don't think we can level these up individually anymore. No. Huh. Yeah, so we can't do anything with that. And it has like that symbol. It looks like the mind symbol almost, right? It almost looks like the, but it would have this shape here. Hmm. It must be something that falls in over here. I, that's the only thing I can think. Uh, Sophia, she's the one that we're supposed to try to be careful around, right? Because they don't like thaumaturgy. Mr. Shulsky, may I have a word? Sure. How can I help? My friends and I are just playing truth order, and now it's my turn. Ooh! Won't you I love this game. Me with your powers? Admit you don't know the rules to the game. Uh, note that her father doesn't like thaumaturgies. Uh, let's go with this. Let's see what she has for the rules. First, here. please tell me the rules of this game. Of course, I'm being silly. After all, you've been away a long time. It's simple. Each player in turn must admit a truth or accept a dare. Anyone who doesn't must drop out of the game and thereby loses. Thereby loses, okay. And I don't Just like, like I figured lose. it would be played, but I just wanted to make sure they didn't have any special rules. Uh, for whatever reason, whoever subscribed, it didn't pop up on my screen. It should have. I don't know why the overlay isn't. Oh, maybe I have it hidden. Maybe I accidentally hid that. But anyway, yeah, I apologize for that. Uh, thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the channel. Whoever you are, if uh, you are able to, yeah, type in chat. Just say, hi, I'm new here. And, uh, yeah, and then I'll be able to give you a proper hello with, you know, so thank you for the subscription though. If you don't, um, note that her father doesn't like thaumaturgies. Your father would not be thrilled about you playing games with the thaumaturge. Maybe that's precisely the point to keep violating his wishes. Ooh, Donnie girl. 
Was that the subscriber pig noise? It was. It was the subscriber pig noise. Um, yeah, because it's it's the pig that walks in, and then it blows on the screen, and then the name appears, whoever subscribed. And I, I looked, but it didn't appear because. So I must have it hidden on the on this for some reason. I must have accidentally hit it. Uh, get to the point. Find out uh, what's going on. What's going? I would on? guess that to you a dare would be the lesser of two evils. How very perceptive. It involves finding out my comrades' secrets. Irina, Maxim, or Sergei. The trick is that you're cleverer at it than I am. No, I just have a, some special powers. <laughs> More clever. Uh, no, that was just me in VC for a second. Oh, was it? Was it now? Okay. <laughs> I thought it was just Taco making noises. No. I mean, the, the noise of the pig walking in. Let me see. I, I, I can't really remember how to make that pop up. But either way, the noise of it walking in is me doing that. I literally did that and then, you know, timed it with the steps and everything. It, was, it took a little bit to set that GIF up and everything. You get your GPU yet? No, Monday. My GPU will be finally be in on Monday. I, I, you know, yeah. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Uh, say you accept the dare, point out that uh, it's uh, deceptive. No, we're not going to say that. We're just going to accept, accept the dare. I accept. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Let me see what I can I find. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Will any secret do? Any. I wait anxiously for your return. So we're going to supply her, but I'll take a look around. we made a rule with her and the other girls. Right? In order to give a secret, we need to receive a secret. So don't forget that. At least the game better not have forgotten that. Because I like, I want to know your, her secrets. Find the person with the flaw. Find out more about Sophia's companions. I want to say Sophia every time, but it's like Sophia, right? All right, there's our sister. We don't want to talk to the other thaumaturge right now because I, I i'm i'm afraid this might trigger the 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 seance and that might end end some of this other stuff oh we got some items here empty glass uh numerous empty glasses indicate someone was here uh as a, as a fast drinker uh sip by sip by or sip by sip maximum our Maxim swigs alcohol as he watches the surroundings, focusing mainly on the, the ladies and longing for, or he, on the ladies and longing for. Uh, companionship arena is looking pretty today. Sounds like a stalker, the, the stalker dude. The loner secret. Maxim is lonely as we all are from time to time. He tries to drown his feelings in alcohol, but the effect is opposite of his intentions. His intention, uh, attention is drawn to Sophia Scallon's friend, Irina. So which one was Irina? Irina? Cause you got this chick here. That was one of her friends, right? She's like the old, older lady of them. And then the other girl that had the stiff arms, which one was she? I don't remember. I, I don't know where she's at. We just look for the the, the puppet lady. <laughs> uh, decorative sofa. She sat on the sofa watching the crowd, usually flirtatious and playful. She felt an overwhelming in, a, emptiness at the moment, uh, which is something new for her. A feeling of loneliness, a need of... God dang it, it disappeared again. Hold on. Let me check back. I don't know why that's been doing. Oh shit! I lost it. <gasps> I missed all that shit. Chat disappeared. I should have just left chat gone for a minute, and then I could have fixed it. Shit! I didn't. Sorry, I didn't read all that, guys. This is information that we kind of need. Ashtray. Full of cigarette butts. Smoking of accompanies uh, by a joyful conversation. Sophia's friends were happy she came with them, despite her father's ban. They like to watch your clever in intrigues uh, that provide them with topics of gossip. These cigarette butts have women's lips marks marks on them. 
If only their father saw what they were doing. Sophia's spread her spread her wings. <laughs> I almost read that different. Sophia spreads her wings when she is out with her father out of her father's sight watching her uh scheming in sheer pleasure. Sophia's a Sophia's a naughty girl. Uh, decorative vase, a vase face. Uh, the vase reflects a strong emotion bubbling up uh, in Sergey. Jealousy mixed with fear. Jealousy directed at me as he's considered me as a rival. Fear that Sophia will ignore him when I'm around. So we don't know who, all right. Oh no, this one is uh, Sergey, right? We, did we meet Sergey? I don't think we met Sergey. Downstairs, we talked to them, but we didn't talk, or talk to Sophia and then for two friends, but we didn't talk to Sergey. I don't think that I recall. Uh, the chair frustration through uh, penetra uh, penetrated Sergey's mind as he sat in the chair watching Sophia from afar. Why did Sophia suddenly start ignoring him? He would do anything for her if she asked. The problem with Sophia won't speak. The problem is that Sophia won't speak at all. She takes no notice of him anymore. So now we got a conclusion. The admirer's secret. Sergey can't stop thinking about Sophia. Uh, he cares about her so much. He's willing to do anything for her. Can't understand why Sophia doesn't re uh, reciprocate the feelings, which frustrates him. He considered me a rival admirer. Okay. Don't worry, I have nothing to worry about. Luck leaves. Uh, Irina found uh, leaves around her fingers uh, with uh, abandoned plucking them direct, uh, discreetly. Immersed in thought, Sophia's uh, uh, charade, uh, charade. Oh, charade. It's Sophia's charade and Maxim. She might walk up to him, but no, she won't hesitate or hesitant to eventually failed to make a move so she wants maxim then conclusion friend's secret hesitancy prevents irena from making a decision she feels torn she won't she would like to indulge herself and spend some time with the maxim but uh, she cannot make a move thus she is in limbo going uh, over all possible scenarios in her head so yeah, she's in love with Maxim. And uh and then this Sergey is in love with her. Well then we have one more friend, right? Which I doubt if it's gonna any information is gonna be in there. So let's go over here and see what we can find. Might have to go downstairs too. Wait, where is that taking us to? Taking us that way. Taking us back to talk to her. It is taking us back to talk to her. So we got enough information. All right, let's tell let's tell Sophia about her friends. They are getting impatient. What have you found out? Ooh, so we get to decide what information we want to uh, share Arena's secret, uh, reveal Maxim's secret, tell her Sergey's secret, give Sophia her her fan back. So this is Sophia's fan that we found downstairs. But I forgot what the knowledge we got from it, because that's when I tabbed out, right? We didn't get the information totally, I think. En parlant de secrets, I found your fan. Oh, and I was just thinking that I hadn't remembered where I'd left it. Very interesting. The fan revealed to me that you dropped it on purpose. Oh, you've got me. I was hoping the right person would find it. But find and it. here we are. Who do you want it to find worked. it? Oh, you wanted oh, me to find it? I was wondering where you'd gone off to. This is Sergey. You know Sergey, don't it you? It is. We're already acquainted. 
Mr. Shulsky and I have completed my Ah, uh, we must move on to the three dudes together. downstairs. At your service. Now, time for truth. <gasps> Are you seeing anyone? She's got the snake. She's got the snake in her. Wait, but that's not that's not what I meant, chat. <laughs> she's got she got she's got she's got the saluter in her. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't sound good either. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> There's no good way of putting it. <laughs> She's got the demon inside of her. Meaningful question. Sophia seems to be toying with me. She keeps uh, boldly asking about my private matters, looking for s strength in her I impertinence. I only wonder if she's toying with Victor Sreski, uh, to the person, or the thaumaturge. That's a good question. She's fucking with me or the thaumaturge? Because her family doesn't like thaumaturge, right? Sophia Scallon. The scheming of Scallon's daughter has made her the elite elite's favorite. Her plots provide distractions and uh, make up the content of a keenly spread gossip. At the moment, I am the object of the games. She's teasing me to uh, to, the, to spite her father, who hates Samaturge. Uh, or is it just a charade to make her... Or, to mask her loneliness. That's a good question, actually. Is she just a brat because she's a brat, right? Bored. Avoid answering. Now it's time for truth. Are you seeing anything? Say your heart is already taken. Well, she's fucking with Sergey here. So, it, cause if I say my heart is already taken, taken. My heart is already taken. I was counting on a different response. Victor called the Mr. Serpent Valis. Our time is up. Sophia and I yeah. must leave well, for his sister themselves. Called, him. called him that, right? Madame is waiting. Thank you once more. See you. Later. Bye, Sergey. Therefore, Valis chased Sofia Skawan and her floor here. She seemed like such an innocent girl, didn't she? It's no coincidence you focused on me. After all, old Scowon hates Thaumaturgus. The little scam. If I want to discern that little schemer's flaw, I'll have to join that sepulchral table. Either her scheming or her jealous knight in shining armor will help me identify her flaw. I hope her father doesn't find out. Uh, Sophia Scallon's flaws. After the game of Truth or Dare, something flickered around the Sophia Scallon. A flaw introduced, uh, induced by scheming. It fits. After all, Sophia has a uh, fondness of high society in playing games. Yeah, so I, what, what, what was the, the snake? The snake was all about schemes, right? When we learned about the Velas, because we, we brought up to our sister, uh, like, what was that, the golden snake thing? It, you know, that moms usually tell stories, and she's like, Velas? And she, he's like, thank you! And then, yeah, we learned a little about Velas, and it's it's all about schemes and stuff. So, yeah, that fits, right? It fits perfect. Uh, that's why it's so interesting. This, Yeah, there's, there's a lot that ties this game together, isn't it? It's cool. Uh, Sauter of the Imperial Hotel. Valis is in is or Valis the insider is lured by the flaw of the schemer Sophia Scallon. In order to capture him, I'll have to play by the rules here, which means exposing Sophia to some stirring experience. I sense that uh, the scandal is inevitable, so we're gonna have to ignite a scandal by bringing it up in public. Ooh, shit's getting thick. All right, so we can sit down. We can talk. Okay, so I'm going to have to be ready with the eagle once again. I have a feeling we're going to have to be ready with the eagle. Oh, God dang it, chat. Why do you keep disappearing? I wonder if it's because it's tied to the television up there or my monitor i have my monitor up top is a television i wonder if it has to do with that 
Let's talk to our sister real quick before we go. Did I see that you've met this madame person? I did. Raise the subject of Svetlana. Oh, we're going to tell her about dad. In the Well, the pearl necklace didn't come from dad. Baba Yaga 3, uh, uh, which is a, on a house of a bird legs under the wall. Uh, I, 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 it's fun. ISP, now that you mentioned that, I was just actually thinking about that because I'm playing The Witcher 3 uh, again, but I'm, I, I, down, I, I downloaded it on the PS5. I started playing it last night. And I remember that too because we save a little... Uh, we s No, the, 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 the Baba Yaga's, uh, they capture... Or at one point, they tried capturing Suri, right? I think, or something along those lines. Um, but we do investigate them at, at some point. Yeah, that's that's great. The game is so good. It'll be like the fourth time I think I'm play I'll be playing through that game. Unfortunately, Svetlana doesn't want to breathe a word of I'm it. I'm ready for the I'm sure the she eagle. doesn't trust you. In company like this, that speaks well of her. Why the cold shoulder, Ligia? I've never liked her. Her manner gets under my skin. I've heard she's a dreadful schemer. Hmm. Uh, Ligia's reaction, uh, strange. Ligia unusually refrains from gossiping. She always been the first to condone such behavior. Uh, what she said about Svetlana may have been caused by the sal saluter's uh, influence on the environment. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. Saluters. I keep on saying saluters. That's how it's spelt. Uh, the Sori and... And high society. Did I say that right? Sari? Boyri? Sare? Oh, no, soir. Oh, God, it's a soiree. I fucking. Why am I not reading that right? I know what a fucking soiree is. I just never read it. The soiree and the high society. High society breathes uh, scandals and in, 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 imbibes gossip from the people's lips, uh, which sits very well with the, the sol solitaires prowling around. Uh, the flaw must belong to someone keen playing games. We already know who it is. Why is that? Well, maybe we should have talked to her a little bit earlier. Tell her about the affair between Svetlana and your father. I'm going to do something before I do that. I'm going to try something. Like I said, chat keeps disappearing. I'm going to do this and get rid of this monitor there. Turn that one off right now. That might help with the chat disappearing. We'll see. Um... All right, let's continue. Uh, tell her, let's tell her about dad. Did you know that Papa had an affair with the host of this party? Uh, are you sure? Uh, yeah. Absolutely. I smelt it as on sure a pillow. As as can be. And I didn't go any I farther down in the bed. Felt when, uh, <laughs> well, you know. Oh, stop. That's disgusting. Quickly, change the subject. There it is again. She went totally American there. Quickly, change the subject. You know, she goes to this accent, and then she turns into, like, a, a, a TikToker. Witcher 3 is such a great game. That, that was actually going to suggest that to Victoria. Victoria, you enjoyed uh, you uh, um, those open world stuff, right? I think you would enjoy Witcher 3. I suggest you. I don't know if you've ever played that or not. Because you do have a PS4, right? So you may have already played it. If, if you haven't, I suggest getting that. Such a good game. Uh, ask if she's having fun. No, we don't need to do that. We already know. I'm going. Bye, sis. All right, let's see if there's anything else. It looks like now, yep, take part in the seance. Should we talk to her one more time real quick? Let's talk to her, but we're going to be ready here. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> we're good. Find out who she's going to summon. Uh, mention that you saw her poster. Ask if she knows uh, Sivana well. I saw one of your posters. I got my they finger ready, just in case. Different in it. Really? The illustration doesn't reflect reality. How should I take that? No one warned me that I should get in costume for the party. Ugh, I beg your pardon. I'm just noting that you stand out among these boring guests. Impudent. Just a bit uncouth, I'd say. Uh, find out uh, who she's gonna summon. Let's ask about if she knows how if she knows. Do you know the hostess well? 
Will you leave me alone? Ah, uh, no booby. <laughs> No, no boobiegle. <laughs> I like that boobiegle. And I am doing my best to meet her expectations. Let's. <gasps> oh shit! <laughs> Keep out of one another's one way. Escape when This game is this game is getting way too prudish for you, is it now? I know who she's gonna summon. Let's find out who she's gonna summon. Whose soul are you summoning tonight, dear madame? I only know which one I'd prefer to banish. Shoo. Wow. Maybe my dead father's. If you manage that, it would spare me a lot of trouble. Now we'll never know. All right. We got everything we have I'll from disappear. Her. For now. For now. Sometimes it's good to let things go <laughs> and leave others. I'm waiting for her to just like give a little warning flash of the, the boobiggle. Boob Ask if that's a threat for your own benefit. Take the take that as a challenge. I think I'll take up this gauntlet. All right, that's everything. Let's let's, let's jump in. Let's do the seance. We are going to be ready with our thumb on the button. You never know where this where the boobiggle is going to have to appear. Free? The energy is dissipating. I love that name. Ladies Thank you for Ladies and gentlemen, I, I am losing contact <laughs> with his souls. Well, it was the souls that chose me after all. It's true. The gentleman has a card. <laughs> oh, Sophia did that. She gave the boy the card to give it to me. She wants him there. But fed by... Veres or whatever the the the, the snake. Let us lay our hands on the table. Let us allow our minds to liberate themselves from our bodies, toward the edges of the world as you know it. Are you thinking of someone exceptional whom you wish to summon? Uh, smile but say nothing. Reply that you're thinking of someone in particular. That's exactly the sort of person I had in mind. Is it a long lost love? Rather a future delightful acquaintance. Leave her alone. <laughs> Sergei, Sergei, this has nothing to do with you. Chill out. Don't worry. Dear guests, I implore She's you. She's just the playing souls. footsie under the table with me. <laughs> Shit. No. Wait. So that's mind one. Shit, I can't change it. Oh, I can't do it from here. No! Irritate Sergey. All right, we're going to irritate Sergey. Jealousy, Sergei. I hear. Stand here, right now! I accept the challenge, right now. Uh, focus on someone you want to make contact with. Something continues to elude you. Keeps... Damn it! Ah! Investigate, uh, in instigate a duel with Sergey. Would a duel make you happy, miss? Between this poor man and me? Are what you are we going missing? To fight now? Choose a location. A duel over me would be truly be unexciting. Yes, I think so too. Oh, we antagonized her. Don't you dare. <gasps> oh, get ready, get ready for the eagle. You were supposed to stay away. I was supposed to leave here with Velis. All that work for nothing. Uh, say your chances were equal. Um, hear her out. No, we got to build our pride up. We got to build our pride up. Fair fight. But I don't intend to hold you here. Truth be told. I even feel sorry for you. Sorry? What does that mean? I feel sorry. She's Canadian. Rid yourself of the pride you've got within. Otherwise, it will lead you to the gallows. Enough of this. There's a sadder waiting for me. Enjoy him, fool. Is she just backing off? Oh shit. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that.
All right, so he summons. Oh, okay, so we're going after the uh, solitaire now. Oh, man, okay. We can improve now. So cool, right? That is badass looking. Let's see what we can level up here, though. Um, like, none of the. We have maxed out these things, but. We have two now, so we can actually. <laughs> cast exposure, increase taking damage by 50%. <laughs> and then uh third principle bond of speed cost two is wild use up the rest of it the salutor's next action will be one round faster okay let's do it <laughs> this gets us closer to unlocking this here too but this is going to be this dude down here that we unlock the one that we capture him Available, let's see, power mine. God, I forgot what all these things are. What the Adrenaline rush, increase the inflicted damage. Third principle, bond of speed. So we want this one, I think. Wait, where can we put this though? You can only put it here, I think, right? How do we remove things again? Yeah. We unlock the things, but we can't... I don't know how to place them. Okay, so there... We should be able to put it here. Right? There we go. That falls under this action. Power of mind... Um, Lucky chance gives six percent chance of slowing the enemy's action. I feel like that's gonna be a good one for planned attack. There we go. Um, and then this one we have enabled. Reduce. Yeah, we want this one still there. There we go. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Let's fight. All right, start fight. All right, so these dudes, uh, they got 25 and 21 HP. This one does have a buff, reduces taking damage by 40%. Uh, I don't totally understand the, the the around attack things, but um, Jesus, that is badass looking. I want it. I want it for mine. Give six percent chance of slowing down the enemy. Let's do here. We don't need to steal health yet. Inflicts damage. Target health points uh, determines how much damage the skill inflicts. More health points, the higher the damage. We just got a buff as well. Yeah, a little bit of frame drop there. That's weird. Open my uh, PC up a little bit. My begin. Uh, all right. So next will be attack on him. He's almost dead. We can't attack on him yet. Uh, calculated shot inflicts damage to reduce focus. Increase damage from the solid uh, next 50% chance. Of, so let's do this one. And then reduce focus removes all negative status effects from you, which I, I do have a net of negative status effect. Let's go for that. We got a bleed going right now for five rounds. Nice. We got rid of our bleed, which is good. <laughs> All right. I feel if we should take care of him, because I think he's going to inflict bleed no matter what with his sword. So if we do a quick attack on him, five to six, he's got seven. 
Ooh. Uh, screw it. We're gonna... Yeah, we're just gonna do a planned attack, I guess. Let's go ahead and s steal some health, too. Yeah, see, so we got a six count bleed now. Oh, shit, he got a buff, too. There we go, he's dead. Shit, so I... S we didn't... Because his, his attack would have came after that, and that's where we would have stole health. So that didn't help us any. Uh, we need to get rid of that bleed again. So hopefully that'll be uh, available. We're getting, we're getting low on focus, so. He's got 11 health, so this will kill him here. Let's go ahead and try to, oh shit, that's not going to work again either. Let's go ahead and steal the, let's get rid of our negative effect. Oof. Oh, that was for nine. Holy shit. Goodbye. All right, so we got her. Calculated for the shot, inflicts damage, or reduces focus. Let's see. Shit, we got three of them now. We're down below half. Fuck. got a gun they both got swords let's go let's do planned attack i guess try to steal some health <laughs> we don't have any negative effects on us right now so Ooh, we got 12 health on that nice all right now we got bleed i don't know what the, this one means here that's for two so we're gonna have to get reduced. We're gonna have to remove the status effect again. I think that's the only way we're gonna be able to keep going. Let's try to get rid of him. And uh, let's get rid of the status effect. Ooh! All right, so I don't know. That's infinite, whatever that is. I don't know how to see what negative status effects we have applied to us. Oh, breakdown. Now vulnerable to strong attacks. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, let's steal some health from him because we're just vulnerable right now. I think it's not too, I'm not too worried. Dude. Ouch. Oh. All right, we got 12 health from him. Shit, he's still not dead though. He's down to one. Are you kidding me? Uh, increase the damage from uh, Seller's next attack by 50%. Cast suffering. Uh, receive damage. Receives damage three to four at the end of every round. She's taking some damage. I don't know how she. He inflicted damage on her. I don't know if he stole from her to give to these guys or what, but. Yeah, somehow she lost some health and we didn't do anything against her. We do have uh, bleed times two or four rounds. So we need to get rid of that. We need to get rid of that bad. All right, let's go ahead and um, do a strong attack on her. To try to get rid of her, I think. And then we're gonna get rid of the status effect as well. Our negative status effects here. Most of them. So she hit us for one, but we got rid of the bleed and stuff. Oh, God. And there's the bleed again. Jesus. At least it's just a single bleed, not the double bleed. Uh, let's steal health. Oh, from... Ah, I'm, I'm torn because he's down to one, but he's keeps on, he can apply bleed to us. So... Inflicts damage to target health points that determines how much damage the skill inflicts. The most, uh, more health points, the higher the damage. I mean, he's got one health, so that's not really a big deal. Um, 
Let's steal some health. Fuck it. Is he gonna get get it from her now? Nope. Alright, let's see if we can get, get rid of her. So we got 13 from her. Alright, we got double bleed again. And he's getting buffs. Oh god. Um She doesn't do much damage. She literally hits us for one at a time. I feel like we need to steal health from him. Oh shit, I didn't switch over to him. Shit. I forgot to switch over to him. Oh god. So let's uh remove our status effect, I guess, cuz we're freaking slowly dying here and then let's get rid of the status effect otherwise we're gonna do times three or times four bleed i don't know how that compounds if it's gonna be double or all right so he just now we're just at single bleed now let's steal some health so if we're getting 12 to 13 yeah. What? We didn't steal any health? Shit. All right. There we go. Here's our stolen health. We got 12 on that. That's nice. Let's get rid of our status effects as well. Uh, buddy penance, uh, target health points. This isn't the status effect. Anymore, is it? Oh, it is, it is, it is. All right, uh, he's down to five. Quick attack won't do it, so we're gonna do a planned attack. And then we'll see what we can do for just stealing health. I don't think we're gonna be able to get any, unless, uh, unless he attacks first. Dead. Okay. So we didn't get any health from that. Just wait until noise Rasputin sees you. Then you'll stop fighting me. Man, we look sick. Ladies again. and gentlemen, as you can see, this evening the souls were the particularly at. restless. The souls have now told me everything I needed to hear. We didn't have to bring the boobeagle back. What can you tell us? Apologize to Sergey. Admit to everyone that uh, it's your fault. Uh, say it's because of Sophia's flaws. Do we want to start a riot and blame Sophia for this? Let's do it. I don't want to take it. I don't want to take fault. I don't know what the star represents. You've acquired the knowledge of your context required. Do we apologize to Sergey and kind of like save face? Or do we want to be a-holes and, and, and like show that Sophia's a, a brat? Hmm. I don't want to do this one. And I, 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 this one's not an option to me. But apologize or, or blame her. I kind of, kind of want to, I kind of want to blame her because she's a brat, right? She brought this thing with her. Screw up, screw up, we're doing worry. it. From now on, everything will be fine. Fine? Sir, you must have slept through the last quarter of an hour. Sophia, listen, I freed you from a flaw that... What's going on here? The guests are complaining, and with good cause, I see. We're terminating this disaster. What is this rubbish about a flaw, my dear Mr. Shulsky? You got me riled up and now you're trying to weasel out? A real skimmer you are. Will the gentleman with a book be leaving peacefully, or should we show him out? Ooh, can we fight? Say they can try. Refrain from causing them any problems. Ooh, should we throw down? 
A proud answer is not only uh, draws from the flaw and pride level, but will also feed it more. Ah, uh, let's go, let's go. I want to build the pride up. There's so many answers that we haven't been able to do because our pride has been too low. But I feel like this is the smarter route. Fuck it, we're doing it. You're going to have to escort me out of here. I hoped you'd say that, bookseller. Bookseller? I'm not selling my book. Kicking ass with it. Knock them out. <laughs> All right, we got four of them. We came outside to do it. Oh, the water. That that, that water is running slow. Uh, I don't think we have any points yet. We don't have any points to change, but we are going against humans now. So, uh, relaxation, uh, restores your focus. Let's, let's do, let's get some relaxation so we get some focus back as well. Um, let's do it under this one. Under the, the planned attack. So we use that a, quite a bit. But we normally don't, like, start off with planned attack, right? Gambling. Gives 6% chance of dealing double damage. We, we, I don't, we, we, we didn't use this one at all in the last fight. I said we just leave the rest. Strong attack exposure uh, damage, uh, 50%. Increase taking damage by 50%. Yeah, so let's we'll keep that like that. This one was, like, uh, 6% chance of double in damage. Ooh, I don't know. Ambler in that instead? A 60% chance of double in the damage. Could you imagine getting a double damage on 24? Or even 23, right? On our strong attacks. Screw it. We're just going to do this. We're going to stick with this. All right. So this guy's got... They got traits too, Roland. Well, at least this dude, dude. He's got fortitude or something. And vulnerability. Makes you immune to gaining ne new negative status. So he's immune to gaining negative status. So ideally, I think he, he would probably be the guy to take out first. He's only got two focus. These guys, they got guns. They're, I don't know. Pistols are still the pistols. They're, they don't do much damage. We can't. Oh, we can. We are attacking him first. Let's go after him with a planned attack. Oh, no. We don't want planned attacks. So we'll do him. With the old woman. We don't need to steal anything, but we'll do blood penance on top of that. So now we can do planned attack. Damn, they do three on that. Go ahead and steal some health. Damn, he's got fists. Oh, they got fists of fury. Put the gun away. Ooh. Damn, they all attacked. So he lost his vul invulnerability. Uh, switch our attack to him. He's gonna take some damage here. We don't. We don't want to uh, kill him. If we kill him, we lose this. Our next thing on him. Uh, planned attack. So that kills him. Gives us eleven. Right. See, so if we would have hit him first, that would have went away. We wouldn't have gotten that. Let's steal health from you. I only got five from that? Damn, that sucks. We're not doing bad. We got some ne negative status effects, though, so he's down to 11. Let's try to steal some. Hopefully, we get more this time. Oh, shit. We killed him. Damn it. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not good. Um, He's got resistance. Reduce taking damage by... So, oh, I think we should just probably get... He does six damage with his fists. 
And then, um, let's get rid of our negative. Nah, let's steal some health. We need to steal some health. And then we can try to get rid of, rid of our negatives. Please. Oh, we got 10. Okay, that's not bad. So we got, we got four out of that. We got, we got three out of that. We gained three health out of that in total. Um... What is, what is that again? Complications. Reduce uh, restored health points. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So let's get rid of that status effect now. I think we'll be all right to do so. Um, We're going to have to do it on him, though. If we do it on him, we're probably going to kill him with this attack, possibly. Okay, let's just try to get rid of him. Let's see if we can steal health. Oh, no, we can steal from him. Okay, so we can switch over and steal from him. Or do the negative status effect, which he only does three damage. So let's, re let's get rid of our status effect. And then we still can steal health. Nice. And then quick attack. Steals how we quick attack the fist guy. Oh no, we shot him. Wait, oh I was must not been on the wrong I was on the wrong dude. Damn it. That's alright. We got plenty of health now. Oh no, it's not us yet. Oh, this is us. This is us. Yeah, we gained a lot of health there. We're all good. Um uh, let's switch over to you. Action reaction. Inflicts damage to stim Oh wait. This inflicts damage to simulated next to action. I don't want to waste it on this dude because he only has two left. And then let's steal health as well. Oh no, let's reduce. Let's get rid of the status effects. We only get half the stolen health if we don't remove that one status effect. Now we can do the quick attack on you. And then from you, we will steal health. Dead. Stole eight. And then we can react as well. And then hit him with a blood penance. So instead of three, we only took one there. Uh, planned attack. We don't even know. We can just hit him with a quick attack. Blend it. Look at us go. Rip. Later, bitch. You don't want to mess with a thaumaturge. Victor, don't scare me like that. Mr. Sursky, are you all right? What? He's concerned? I think it's time for us to go. I didn't expect that guy I'll to come up being all carrot. concerned. You'll have a hard time at this hour. I'll drop you off. See, you can always count on Mr. Konechkin. Victor. Thank you. That's very polite. <laughs> we got a little snooty with him. What? Crafty, how are we doing today? Bada boom. Yeah, we freaking nailed that. That felt good. That was a good one. That was a good one. I made a couple mistakes there. I made a couple Thank mistakes. Thank you for an interesting evening. Uh, let her get angry. Apologize to her. Check if she is uh, being sarcastic. Let's see if she's being sarcastic. Are you angry? I need to rest. I'm sorry it all turned out like this. Not tonight, please. She's pissed. She's pissed. It's like being married to your sister. <laughs> she's, she's like, I don't even want to talk to you. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, not tonight, please. Uh, wish her good night. Mention uh, Kanechkin. Um. Konechkin is up to something. He is. Victor, if not for him, he really helped us tonight. I don't want to talk about it tonight. I don't trust him. He's Good got night. a scar on his face. I want a badass scar on my face. I'm about to go deaf. <laughs> the ringer's so loud. I'm about to go deaf, he says. Captured but untamed, oh Zalators won't obey sure your order. Nice. Go to Rasputin to tame them. Oh, okay. So we have to go to Rasputin now in order to tame our, our snake. Hello. 
Hello? Hello. Victor? Victor? Hello, hello, Victor. Uh, say it was a mistake. Uh, speaking. Victor, Uncle Sasha here. Hey, Uncle. How are you? Have you visited your old stomping ground yet? What, the strip club? Tell him what you have done until, uh, what you've done until now. Let's give him a I've already discovered some things like a comfortable bed. The city has changed a lot, as have we all. The most important thing to me right now is retrieving my father's grimoire. Your grimoire? I wish you luck, boy. What are you calling is about, Is there any uncle? specific reason why you're calling me? I wanted to uh, need. I need your help, boy. It's a very delicate matter. Are you able to find a moment for your uncle? Oh, shit. He's got a dead body at his place. I know it. I can see it already. He was on his way home. He had some, you know, we, we gave him a little bit to drink, right? He was on his way home. He passed the brothel. Said, well, instead of me coming in, why don't you come back to my place? Things got a little out of hand. Uncle, fuck him. Tell him you can say it over the phone. Uh, say that you'll try. Shit. I'm not going to do the pride thing right here. All right. So where should we meet? You never know if this this phone call Remember is being monitored. Remember why I took your kids for donuts? Uh, I do. <laughs> Let's meet there. Maybe you can reminisce about the old days. Definitely got one in Better the trunk. <laughs> See you then, Victor. Thank you. <laughs> He's so excited now. He's like, yes. Oh, and bring that rug, that old beat up rug that we don't, that your uncle, your dad didn't like anymore. You know, the one that. Just long enough to fit a body. <laughs> oh, visit Rasputin at the Seven Polaska Street. Uh, go to Rasputin to talk about Velas. Let's go to let's go do this. Let's go talk to Ve Ve Oh, hi, hey, Mister Solisky. Who's this? Message. Uh, to Vit 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 Vitker. What time is it? 12.30, okay. I got, I got a little bit longer. Please uh, come to the cemetery immediately. Urgent matters. Uh, Jocel Jacenti Jokal. Grave di digger. Grave digger. <laughs> Why did I read grave digger like grave di digger? <laughs> I'm an idiot. Shut up. <laughs> okay, so we got to tame this thing. We're not going to the grave. So we got all sorts of tasks now. So I was wondering when like the open world aspect was really going to kick in and you know, we had to, you kind of have to bust through all the tutorial stuff and it takes a little time. Now it's starting to turn into more open world where you, you have more choices, even though we only have, uh, taming darkness. We have these, but, uh, we can go to the, um, cemetery as well too now and, uh, and, uh, talk to the grab of a digger. <laughs> um, but first I guess we're going to go, uh, let's go talk to Rasputin about taming this, uh, Like I said, I got a birthday party to go to today, so I'm limited on time today. But and also, I don't like to stream too much more than you know three to four hours, anyways. Uh, just because is this worth Rasputin is? Taming darkness. Yeah, he's at the cemetery. Okay. So the grave digger's probably gonna be there too. It's a tree chat. Oh, what's over here? A beautiful tune as a fiddle were alive and carried it onto its own, uh, on its own. The brief uh, moment, it felt like someone has, had touched the strings in me that I didn't know existed. Leave my strings alone. Aw, look at that. Wait, they're not even there. Bullshit. Hey, baby. Flirtatious woman. 
So, come here often? I know a guy that was in a movie about construction. I think it was called Building with Wood. Good movie. You should check it out. Yeah, I know him. Yeah, the star of it. Ski, ski, bang, bang. You know, with emphasis on the bang, bang. Him and his hammer. <laughs> Hello. Indeed. Fanciable. Hey. Up close. I would even say a solid eight, wouldn't you? I don't know. We'll see when he turns around. <laughs> they want to see my ass. Okay, I'll do some piranha while we're doing today. What the deuce? <laughs> Hola, bueno, bueno. <laughs> How are we doing today? How are we doing today? Uh, ask what they're doing. Turn around. Should I turn around for them? Should I show them my... Yeah, I've been doing my squats. Let's do it. They're going to show them my ass. Can't even see it. Eight it is. Can't even see my butt. Will you show us something more? No. <laughs> that train, that train left the station. <laughs> uh, that's what they're doing. May I ask what you ladies are doing? We showed them our butt. Like everyone does. We're evaluating. People watching. I do that all the time. My buddy and I will go out and just sit there and watch people, but we don't we don't ask them to see their asses. Uh what a solid, a solid eight. Solid eight. You know, on a scale from one to ten, you look quite spiffy, sir. Uh-huh. Why are you smoozing with some sucker who's already suited and booted for his own funeral? And you, lousy fop. Got an itching looking Bob. for some philandering at the marble <laughs> orchard, are you? Oh, calm Six, down, women. Five. <laughs> or woman. <laughs> Zero. There's nothing here for you. Mr. Eight got some you-know-what, so he caught our eye. And vice versa, you can I can tell. call me Mr. Eight, chat. Get ready for some shellacking, lads. We got a dandy looking for some extra ventilation. And, as luck would have it, not too far from the orchard, either. Sir... You have the unique opportunity of becoming a 10. Ooh. <laughs> All right. So they sucked these these damsels not in distress. <laughs> Look at her clapping back there. All right, so we do got an improvement that we can do uh if we have enough. This is going to cost us 2. Uh, this will cost us one here, but agony. We haven't we didn't even use this dude on the last one. We might use him in here. Um, this guy fucking the oop here does some fucking damage though. Well, it does damage. It does healing too. That's the great part. Uh, which we can't. We don't have this one unlocked yet, but venomous smile. Uh, slippery bet. Good luck, kiss. Lucky turn. Looks damage, launches attack random. Look at how badass he looks. Some dark eyes. Like Gal's eyes. Alright, what, what do you have? Uh, reduced impact on own, uh, owner's focus. Uh, then this one's resistance, and then he's got, uh, resistance as well. It's a trait. Wait, wait, why is one blue, one's pink? Oh, it's the mind. This one is is it is, is, is against mind, and this one's against uh, heart. I think, right? Yeah, that's what that symbol is. Heart. Uh, let's see. Thirty-eight. They all have guns, so I'm guessing three damage up. Uh, we don't need planned attack yet. Let's do quick attack. No, let's do uh, old wound. And then we don't need to steal, but we'll do blood penance. All right, now we can do planned attack. That'll give us health back. No, we didn't. Wait, what? Reception weekend, pay visit. Why, why didn't we get health back there? This is infinite, so we're not gonna lose that trait. 
or that negative status effect. Fuck. Um, let's kill him. Shit. I did that wrong. Again. Alright, we're doing alright, though. We're doing alright. Uh... Wait, one of them we had restores focus, right? We have full focus, though. Restore any focus. Go after him. Let's do the same to him. Alright, we got 11 health from that. Nice. Dude, your butt, your shirt's unbuttoned. Yeah, there goes uh, Google again. That's so weird. Why does it do that? And I completely lost. There we go. It's back now. Damn. Yeah, Google's been going down. Resume! The hell? Oh, shit. There we go. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's switch over. Can't use that one. Not gonna listen to us. Inflicts damage. Inflicts damage is equal to 8 for each enemy afflicted suffering state. And on you, we're gonna do. We don't need focus. We're gonna do a quick attack. And then. Ooh, okay, we're gonna need to steal some health again. Shit. We're gonna have to switch back. gone here. No, he won't. And now he's dead. Now he's dead. We're going to be a 10, chat. We're going from 8. We're gaining 2 points on this here. I guarantee it. Well, that didn't kill him. What? Oh, where was he at? Was he at 4? Yeah, he was at 4. Okay. Night night. Nice. I shot him six times. Taco's just standing there taking gunshots like Mike Myers. I'm a beast. What can I say? You impressed? Wait, where'd the ladies go? What? Where'd the ladies go? had us going up this way, right? Where were those ladies at? Oh, here they are. So... Not only do I know a guy that was in the movies, you know, building with wood. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, good friend of mine. Good friend of mine. Uh, did you, did you see me kick the ass over there? Now, am I a 10? All right, they're ignoring me. Typical. Yes, sir. Please let me in. It's urgent. You can't just turn up like this. What will I tell sir and madam? Fear not. I'm here for Rasputin. I can sense he's in a drawing room. You can sense it? Who is this lady? Intriguing. Invitations, uh, a pile of invitations uh, to tea parties and dinner from uh, Warsaw. No notable personalities. The most recent one is the Countess Lerman 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 Tawa. Yeah, I know that. 
I nailed it. I nailed it. Oh, music. I didn't play the tunes. A perfume bottle, a bottle of expensive per French perfume gifted to Rasputin by Nedrzinski, uh, most uh, likely as a suggestion that he might try to conceal the intense odor for the benefit of everyone. The gift was accepted, set aside, and never used. <laughs> it's like I got offered gum. Uh, I, 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 I was at uh, lacrosse uh, the other day, and, and he's like, uh, Want some gum? I'm like, ah, no, I'm good. Unless you're hitting at something. <laughs> He's like, no, 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 no. Decorative fan. Uh, Anelia's uh, quivering words still waft over the fan, uttering, uttered either to her husband or herself, complaining about her fallen, failing health and psyche. The small uh, gusts of air didn't bring any relief. All right, so there's something over here too. Yes, there is. Medic, uh, medications, uh, various medications that, uh, tinctures, tinctures. Is that? Am I saying that right? Tink, 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 tinctures, <laughs> tinctures. I can't say that. And decor of bottles, spec uh, specific prescriptions of doc for doctors and quacks. All right, so we got a conclusion then. Nice. The Nedrzinski family. The Nedrzinski family are well suited, quite prosperous. Uh, they live in comfortable life and have friends in high places. No wonder Rasputin has chosen them. He seems to have uh, won their favor by taking care of Anelia, uh, who suffers from nervous order or disorder. All right, Rasputin, my old, my old homie. Is that him? In the flesh. Allow me to introduce Wait, you're you, talking about my me? dear hostess, Aniela Narodzinska, and my dear friend, Viktor Shulsky. Your father had a beautiful funeral. Thanks. Thank you. My dear, we finished for today. Now I'll find out what brings Viktor to us. Like your eyebrows. What brings you here? But you were the one who phoned. Very How do you funny. pronounce thaumaturge? Just like that, thaumaturge. Um, Victor says thaumaturge. Or some of the people in the game will talk, they'll, they'll say thaumaturge, but it's, yeah, it has, I've heard other people say thaumaturge, and then if you do it in Google, it's thaumaturge. Thaumaturge. It is a weird one, isn't it? Thaumaturge? No! Sombrano, no! I'm not a poop. You're a poop. <laughs> Very funny. Say you need a hi hypnosis. Uh, find out how long he uh, intends to stay here. Ask uh, if he knows Nadezinski for long. Uh, ask how uh, what he told Anili about you. Ugh. I want to know. Why was she looking at me so oddly? Yeah. What did you tell her about me? She might have a... She's never seen a thaumaturge before. Oh. I only mentioned to her how we met. Can I help you at all? Uh, ask if he knows uh, how Have you know well, he knows long. No, but Aniela and Lucian are my two good souls. What does that mean? They took me, an impoverished preacher, in under their roof. And I'll never forget that. Are you helping them too? I am a bomb for Aniela's frazzled nerves, but enough of that. Tell me what you need. I will, but first... You look like you've made yourself <laughs> at home. Are you going to be staying on here for long? No, I'm afraid not. You did do call They're me a thumb and turd. People, but I saw I've it. experienced another vision. Though not fully terrifying, it is troubling. Was it a big Will long you tell thing? Me about it? Later. What brings you to me? Oh, okay. I thought it might have been my snake in my pants. Actually, I don't feel great. 
Let's see what you brought with you this time. Close your eyes and focus on my words. Concentrate on my voice. Oh, I don't like Relax. when he stands up like this and, and I'm sitting down. Close your yourself. eyes. Just open wide. Follow my voice inside yourself. <laughs> I'm a trauma turd. <laughs> Do you see him? He's remarkable. We're gonna have to fight him, I think, now. To get his ass to pay or to listen to us. I I can't <laughs> tame him. I refuse to die. You can, and you will. Look, he's afraid of you. Calm your heartbeat. It will scare him off. Oh. Calm yourself. Calm oh, It's okay, boy boy. Come here. It's okay. Come to daddy. Got a little treat for you. Wait, we did it? We didn't have to fight it? We tamed it. Yes, we tamed the snake. You look better. You slept a long time. Yes, it feels that way. What year is it? Still 1905. Yet time flows on inexorably. Isn't it ironic that Rasputin stood up in front of us, put his hand on the back of our head, and then we had visions of a snake? Is it just me or is that... <laughs> What can I say? I game needs to reel it in. Listen, listen, ski. That's just like how building with wood starts. <laughs> the infamous movie that you're in. <laughs> oh shit! So that's everything. Yeah, it felt flows like so. So we're good. No, we're good here. I won't bother you. We can talk next time. The Narazinski door is always open. The snack blender or bender. <laughs> you said it. I did. I did. Oh, that was funny. All right. Let's see if there's any more. Oh, there she is. Still love the Vavros. Amazing. Oh, here we got something up in here. Uh, 365 dinner recipes, uh, for 5 PL and, uh, is this location? Maybe, uh, slice your bread, whole, whole meal. I, why, why am I going to read that? I hate reading out loud. I hate reading in general, but I hate reading out loud more. And then I'm going to have to read a freaking a recipe. <laughs> Nothing in here. I'm guessing we're going to be back here at some point. Wait, this has us going to pull... This one takes us out? No, this one goes... Where does this go? Bathroom. What are you doing? What are you doing? Is that the toilet? The toilet's right here. I can't get to it. Yeah. What are you doing? All right, let's leave. We got three now, though. Um, Let's take a look real quick. So we tamed them now. Now the only thing we have left in this lower level, lower tiered, uh, is this thing, whatever this is going to be. It's like, it looks like a grass monster. <laughs> I'm guessing we might get this from the cemetery, be my, my theory. And then we got these dudes here. So this one we're pretty close to. But who knows what we unlock first. Um... Redeems focus. Okay. Actually, it might not be bad. We can actually just play up a redeem for focus. But uh, increase inf uh, inflicted damage by 75%. I think this will be the next purchase here. Just for the sake of the, how much damage we'll be able to do. 75%. That's insane. That's a lot. That's like, uh, that's like one quarter times three. <laughs> I hate it here. Why? 
why i love it here all right so we tamed the beast i think uh we're 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 four and a half hours into this stream so we've been playing this game for almost four hours today i think it's a good place to leave off i fucking love this though the story is fantastic uh the turn base i love turn based games anyways you know so um i will set up uh like a, a blur theme or you know overlay to blur out if anything pops up i can literally just hit the blur button and it'll pop up an overlay so i don't have to bring up the 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 boob eagle again the boob eagle might have to stick around though when the blur screen it might the boob eagle might have to be in the top right corner up here or something and you know and, yeah just for the sake of because uh, that's such a great name the boob eagle is such a fantastic name for it <laughs> and uh you know that'd be good though i think i i won't even uh I, i'm not even gonna bother trying to edit that little section there i think youtube will be fine with it hopefully fingers crossed i'll find out if they're not then i'll edit it later but uh i'm just gonna leave that section in um and see what happens because it's such a pain trying to edit edit that stuff um through the through the youtube editing thing so yeah anyway uh let's go back here let's get going in here uh save yes uh create a save save file yes close quick game yes and then outro <laughs> chat community you guys are amazing eric how we doing today have a good weekend taco thank you too have a good one go blue uh the wolverines play today i think hockey they're in the frozen four uh i think they play today right it's either today or tomorrow i'll have to take a look i don't remember but anyway Martina, thank you again for the 50. You're amazing as always. Chat, you're all amazing though. Crafty, thank you for the seven months as well. But mo most of all, thank you guys for joining today. It's fun. I love this game. It's fun. Sports. <laughs> Listen. If you're not part of the Discord, I suggest you join. It's an awesome community over there. My fellow self, Fisk and Booster have. Uh, it's called the Good Guys. Yeah, I suggest you go join it. Uh, Exclamation mark Discord. It's in the description as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Twitter.com forward slash talking stuff. I said that super clear. <laughs> follow me on Twitter. Keep in touch when I go live and whatnot. I post it in there. I post it in the Discord. So you'll get your alerts there. Plus, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit the subscribe, hit that bell. Get alerted when I go live. That way, also, I'll be posting today either on Twitter or in the community, probably in the community channel here on YouTube so I can utilize it more. Some pictures of the games that we're playing uh, today at uh, my oldest daughter's birthday party. So. Anyway, make sure you keep it, keep a follow on that. Thank you again, everybody, for joining. Fun. Much love. Stay safe. Russian floss. My name is Taco. Oh.